Hello, hello everybody, and we are going to be continuing our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky playthrough. As always, thank you to the people who helped create the expanded Skyrom hack. It is a fun time. Last time, we went through with Team Charm through Aegis Cave, and I actually quite liked Aegis Cave. It was an interesting puzzle. Defeat unknown, spell out a word, fight the Regis. Even fought Regigigas in a nightmare. <laughs> well, it was more like a nightmarish thing. No, who knows? Maybe one of these days, one of these games will throw a fight that is actually just a nightmare at us. Eh, who knows? But after we did that, eventually, we got main story progression? Darkrai was apparently a part of things, manipulating things from the darkness. Cresselia's after him, and then is lambasting me for existing? It's weird. So, so and uh, Azuril is now having a nightmare, maybe caused by Darkrai? I, I can only presume, because I think he's like, he eats dreams, I think. Cresselia, I think, has stuff to do with dreams, which makes sense. Cresselia contacts us through dreams. So maybe Dark Rye's Nightmare Man? I don't... Uh, I, I, despite being a Pokemon fan, I don't know that much about Pokemon. Yeah. I'm a fake fan, you see. So now we're going to be tracking down Drowsy, who was a kidnapper at the beginning of the game. But then they're like, oh, well, he didn't do all that much, so we let him go. And he, he seemed honest. I don't trust the Pokemon justice system. But we're going to go find him to see if he can help us ease Azuril's nightmare and get him to wake up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Richard Gigas was added. Why does it feel like there's only room for, like, two more bosses? Yeah. But I do believe we already, like, gathered up all our inventory and stuff. We have some Sleep Seed, Stun Seed, Tutter Seed, a lot of Reviver Seed, Orange Seed, Pure Seed, some Apples. And now we're off to that big old mountain to see... Drowsy, are you being a bastard or are you actually good? Off to Mount Travail! Is it called that because it's travel with an I? So this is Mount Travail. We need Drowsy to help us figure out why Azuril won't wake up. We need to hurry finding Drowsy. We've got to do our best, Neon. Are we sure that there's nobody else in Treasure Town who knows Dream Eater or stuff? <gasps> Fucking Mr. Mime! Oh, that's extra mean. Well, now I have to kill you. What the fuck? Die. That was weird. He blasted my partner. With a side beam, made him confused, gave him temporary dementia, and then uh, baton passed for some reason. Why? That bastard took away my experience. What is this? Are the are the dungeon mons like another player meta gaming me? It's like ha ha ha! I will use takedown so that you don't get any. Jesus fucking Christ! Okay. Next time we, uh, face one of them, uh... I guess, uh, let Silas take, take point. Come here so we can murder you. Hello, Firo. But how be the people today? <laughs> be glad it wasn't under the full moon. The nightmare would have lasted forever. Is there actually lore to that? <laughs> 8 and then 87. How dare you not give me 88? Oh, you're a fighting type. You're gonna fuck my day. I keep forgetting I'm a dark type and fighting screws me over. Because Krogunk doesn't have the dusk globe that I desire. I want the dusk globe, but it doesn't give it to me. Oh no, Doom Seed? Why is Mount Travail the place of fighting type? You whore! Die!
Well, that basically did nothing. <laughs> the bastard basically said, no level up to level 51 for you. Motherfucker. That is so... There were two doom seeds on this level! Two! Two doom seeds! Ugh. Well, everybody, when the world decides to kick you while you're down, remember to grab your tea and think of Britain, I guess. Ah! Congratulations, you did one damage. Congratulations, you did one damage. Congratulations, you did one damage! Good for you! My real question is... Motherfucker. Well, at least... I keep forgetting that you have those, and I just never turn them on anymore. I keep forgetting that Silas has, like, count... Mother... Mother... Oh, Kangaskhan! Oh, Jesus. We have to murder Kangaskhan. Interesting. I don't think I've ever, ever been in... Like... A top of the top. Like... Uh, I've never seen... Kangaskhan in a mystery dungeon before. <laughs> Remember to stay hydrated as you deal one damage. So that you can practice and maybe someday get strong enough to do two damage. Although I just thought of something that's kind of interesting. In the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon world, they routinely, it seems, lose access to evolution. So that makes me wonder, like, because usually in, like, mainline Pokemon, a lot of the time people judge, like, Pokemon maturity through their evolutions, because eh, people do that, I guess. Meanwhile, in this world, you could be stuck as a Pichu for the, all of your life. Must be a weird experience. I mean, just look at, uh, the, what was his name? Teddy Ursa. Who knows how long he was a legal adult. But he just couldn't. I forget what Detect even does. There's so many shields in this game. There's Protect. There's Counter. I don't know. <laughs> ah, yes, in the Pokedex entry for the... Motherfucker! Why do I keep being spawned inside. I didn't even bring a fucking petrify. Ah! All right, fine. Pure seed away. Even though there's some gummies and money and shit, I don't. There's too many fighting types. There's psychic. There's a Mr. Mind there who's gonna and a Medicham. No, we need to pure seed. We need to go. Goodbye. Whoa. Just survive, okay? <laughs> Cresselia won't leave me alone. That's basically it. Hey, Cresselia, instead of telling me that my existence is that of an abomination, how about you go and ease the night? Why are there so many of them? The sludge traps, Master Fuck. But yeah, Cresselia, how about instead of uh, bothering me, why do you have so much fucking health? Like, instead of bothering me, why don't you go and help poor, poor Azuril, who's having a nightmare? Like, isn't that your existence, your point? You're, like, you're the dream Pokemon. Go give him some nice dreams. Leave me alone, you fuck. I have now recruited the Lake Trio. You are now a leg- Meanwhile, I have- I just- I don't go and recruit legendaries for some reason. Although I do find it kind of funny that, like, there's an in-universe ex- like, reason why you can now recruit the Lake Trio in the post-game. Because 
now they don't have to guard the... Uh, they don't have to guard the time gears anymore. So it kind of makes sense why they'd be, like, <laughs> able to do it. That's kind of cool. Die. Why? <laughs> There's so many traps in here. <laughs> you think that's bad? Uh, when doing the sea thing, I got a monster house and I'm a fire type. Yeah, that would be hell. Then again, to be fair, that was a monster house with some psychic types to fight poor frickin' Silas and fighting types to ruin my day, a dark type. <laughs> oh yeah, but I forgot to read the second one. I have now recruited the Lake Trio, fighting for my, uh, fitting for my team, being Team Aura. Yeah. Yeah, the Lake Trio is kind of Aura adjacent, aren't they? In a way. They're kind of mystical. Now I'm imagining the Lake Trio, but with like, big ol' muscles. I wonder how big this mountain is. Get Force Palm, did he? Silas is the ultimate, uh, he is now the ultimate blah blah blah, the Jedi, that's what I think. I just hope I don't run into another, uh, blah blah blah, another monster house. Well, that's very rude, how dare you. That's also very rude. Please die. We must run to find Drowsy. Why is Drowsy even here? I must climb this mountain. Oh, sure. I'll go down the secret room. Okay, del okay, sure. Yeah, this is cool. I found, I ba you know, you know how I went to like the contained ruins or whatever, the place that we unlocked after beating Regigigas, and we got like six deluxe boxes. We just were here on this mountain and found five, and also it's playing the, the it, it's playing the questionnaire music. It's playing the, the personality quiz music. I really like this music. It's calming. It's nice. And of course, Team Aura has a Rialu in it, and a Bagon named De either Desiree or Desire. It's hard to denote that through text. Oh, you bastard. Please, stop, you, you fucker. You are teaching your child the, the, the wrong things. Die. <laughs> For teaching your child the long re the, 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 the long lessons, the wrong lessons, we are going to kill you. Well, let's just get out of here. That is like the second hidden staircase that I have found in my entire time of playing Mystery Dungeon. And honestly, it was better than any of the, like, bazaars. Because I thought we were just going to go down into the, hey, give us money place. But no, it was actually a thing. It is desire because it's desire to fly. Very understandable. Because isn't it, yeah, isn't that, that that line's entire thing? Where they're like, it dreams of being able to fly. Please die. No shadow sneaking, die. You one health wonder. Very frustrating that that thing can become an outlaw. And a sinister box. Okay, we got a sinister box because we we murdered a mother. How dare you. Uh, I'll just keep throwing rocks at you, okay? And then you get 69, idiot. Motherfucker. 
quit grimying my food. Stop it now. Why do fighting types have issues with bugs? I don't get it. Please die. And you know what? Well, I'll go ahead and eat an Ornberry. So I can be the frontliner. Why is there a Sintret? I should probably eat a Max Elixir. And I have like five billion of them. Five I just butchered that language. But I have a lot of them in storage, so I don't have too much to worry about when we get back. Also, I gotta say, the IQ-like system giving you the, like, ability to not use a power point when attacking is such nice, just, like, design. It's just delightful design. Oh, they better keep that in later installments when they make it so that your normal attacks only do five damage and then remove normal attacks entirely. I don't get that design decision, but maybe I will once I actually go and play those games. Hello, Metacham. Die. Hello, Metacham. How about you Metachad and be gone, Satan? I shouldn't eat grimy food unless I'm, like, at a wrong button. I meant to throw, but then I pressed button like a fool. Only eat grimy food when you're at the stairs. Hello, Scizor. We are going to ambush you. Now die for your existence. Scizor, meanwhile, is just like, Oh, hey, guys, what are you doing? Oh, God, I gave you the secret rank! Why are you doing this? Oh! It was actually just because you gave us the secret rank. You were never supposed to do that. The Federation Guild sends their their regards. That's way too many Pokemon. Oh, dear God. <laughs> that was so scary. Ever karate chop a bug? Doesn't work well. But that was like the entire thing of like, uh... Of, uh, like, from that one old, like, karate movie. Catching a, a a fly with chopsticks. It's all about discipline. Yet in this game, they're like, no, not at all. A doe seed. I swear it would be cool if a doe seed actually raised your level, but it wouldn't. Because I'm getting far too many of them. Hello, you again. Like, unless that's a Petrify Orb. No, it's a Blowback Orb. I don't care. You sure did thrash. How about you go back home and learn some thrash metal? Considering you're a fighting type, that would actually work well for you. I, I failed to, like, note it before, but this is some very nice music. Some very, very nice music. Then again, like, all the music in this game is nice. I think that, like, when it came to Rescue Team, there might have been one or two tracks that I wasn't super fond of. But for the most part, I've enjoyed all of the music from Mystery Dungeon games. Actually, I think there was one track that actually made me feel weird, like the the tones they were using just got to me in Rescue Team. Oh, we're getting hungry while well, we're gonna step off, we're gonna eat a grimy food, waste not, want not. And nothing happened! I'm a god. I am that guy who has such strong stomach acid I can eat a plane. Apparently that guy got like the... Guinness World Record for something, even though Guinness World Record is basically a, a, a sham. 
in general, and he ate his Guinness World Record plaque, which is honestly just such a move. It's just like, here's the plaque of you can eat a lot of stuff that a person shouldn't be able to eat. And then he's just like, I'm going to eat it. That guy ate a plane. Bit by bit, he ate a plane. Not all in one sitting, because obviously, but... Still, the fact that even over a period of time, a guy can just eat all of the composite materials that make up a plane and be fine is horrifying. What the fuck? What is grudge? Grudge took effect, apparently. Let's get out of here. I once listened to the OST on Shuffle. I could see the soundtrack being good enough for that. Hey, isn't that drowsy over there? I'm plotting to take over the world. Drowsy! You two! What did you two come here for? I, I've kept my nose clean. I've stayed out of a life of crime. Wait, that's not it, Drowsy. We're not here to arrest you, Drowsy. But we are here for you. We need your help. Uh-huh. Me? You need my help. Yes, you remember that little Azuril, right? That Azuril has been locked in sleep and won't wake up. Huh? That Azuril, Tyke. No one knows why he won't wake up. That's when we heard that you, Drowsy, can possibly enter dreams. That's why we searched for you. So, Drowsy, how about it? Will you help us? I... I... I did a rotten thing to that little Azuril way back when. I don't know if doing this would ever make up for it, but... It would help Azuril even a little. I don't know how useful I can be, but... I'd be glad to help, if you'll let me. Drowsy! Lead me back to Azuril. Let's not waste time! Okay! It's this way! Quick! It's kind of interesting... That... Like... Because I guess in a way, he technically didn't, like, ba ba ba. what's the word? I'm trying to think. <laughs> he, I guess he technically, I don't know, it's like, he led a Az Azuril to a place under false pretenses. And was trying to use them to get a treasure. Like, you'd think that he could just say, like, Hey, Azuril, want to come with me to a mystery dungeon? There's neat treasure in there that I think you'd be able to get to with your small body. If you help me do it, I'll split the treasure with you. But, no, he's like, I'm going to basically kidnap this person. But it is kind of cool that they're bringing back, like, the initial, like, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to think of the word. But it is kind of neat that they took the initial first outlaw that you ever fight in the game. And, like, made him come back for the post-game like this. It's actually pretty cool. How's it going, Drowsy? Can you do something? Oh, you two. I want you to get stocked up for an exploration. When you're all ready, I'll send you on an exploration of... Azuril's dream. What? So that means... You guessed it. It is possible to get into Azuril's dream. Yes! Meryl, we can tackle the mystery of the unending nightmare now! Great! But I want you to be extra careful when you're inside this kid's dream. There's something rotten about this dream. I have a feeling that something has gone bad or gone wrong. Uh, is that right? Okay, we'll be on our guard. One more thing. I want only you two to enter the dream. I'd prefer to go as well, but in all honesty, at my skill level, I think I'd slow you down too much. My dude, you went up Mount Travail. I think you're fine. I'm sorry I couldn't do more for you, but... No, there's no need for that. Sending us into the, dreams is, into the dream is more than enough. Thank you, Drowsy. We'll get ready to go. Let's hustle, Neon. We'll be back as soon as we get ready. We're playing the epic music. Things are gonna happen. Hey, hey, that drowsy really did turn his life around. 
I feel bad for doubting him, hey, hey. What do you suppose exploring a dream would be like? Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine. You all can go into the dream now? That's mighty great news. Oh, it's possible for you to enter dreams. That's excellent news. Of course, the journey has yet to start. It's good you found Drowsy. Now it gets tricky. You have to find out why Azuril can't wake up from his nightmare. <laughs> Welcome to the Krogunk Swamp Shop. Once again, every single time I see it, it's like, oh, it's a scarf for me. But no, it's a bastard scarf of evil. It's a scarf of death and bastardization and bitch. It's evil. And once again, nothing for me. Nothing for me. I have yet to have a thing that I can just have in my possession as my own thing from the Koro Gunk Swap Ship. It's evil. Do people who wear glasses wear them in their dreams? I have no idea. That would actually be an interesting, like, psychological thing to ponder. You're entering the nightmare? Ew. What an awful place it must be. I can't begin to imagine such a horrible place. And just you again going on. These two can't just focus on one thing, can they? Drowsy's become a changed Pokemon. Good to hear he has reformed. Not that it matters to us, since we're a team that focuses on catching outlaws. But if Drowsy becomes an outlaw again, we'll be there to catch him. Why do you bring in a known outlaw like Drowsy? I hear that Drowsy is at the guild. What's that? Go into a dream? What's that about? I have no idea. Little Azuril will not awaken from a nightmare? Um, that's quite worrisome. <laughs> and then immediately goes into a sales pitch. Oh, hey, a black gummy! I'll buy a black gummy for my soup. Oh, huh. <laughs> Apparently we had the perfect amount of, like, room for items <laughs> during there. Sure, we'll appraise so we can put things away. Quick, quick, qua! Ha! And so it is revealed within these boxes were a mime card, a plusle tail, a pink gummy, a geo pebble tin, a reviver seed, a gold ribbon, a clear gummy, a bay leaf claw, a blissy song, Ursa claw, reflect, Ursa fang. What more do you want? Hmm, what could it possibly be? What has made little Azuru unable to wake up? I do hope the dear child will awaken and brighten our day with his cheer. I would like to sell some of the things. Fifty-five billion people dying in a hole. All right, let's put things away. Ah, oh, that Mama Kangaskhan has nothing to say about us going into hell. We don't want to get the, the, the Rialu, or the Lucario, or the Mehmet Ring. I wonder what's going to be in the nightmare. Hopefully nothing too horrific. Hopefully. God, we have a lot of everything. But, um, uh, but I think we have enough reviver seeds. Uh, we'll take two uh, max elixirs just in case. Do we have any petrified? Excuse me. Blah. Remember to stay hydrated while you prepare to venture unto hell. Uh, do we have any petrify orbs? Because I... Okay, we have a lot. We will take three petrify orbs, just in case. Um, let me quickly check what we have. I think we have a few totter seeds. Let's 
putting's in order. Totter, stun, sleep. We could probably take a bit more seeds that are good for combat. Uh, do we have another sleep seed in here? One more will... Because mm. Petrify, like, wears off when you attack, so that's not too good for us. Ba -ba -ba. Hmm. I guess we'll take this extra sleep seed just in case we fight a boss or something. My, now my brain actually went to a terrible place. <laughs> my storage is less of a mess. Hey, my 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 storage is perfectly nice in terms of like storage. It's just that I have a lot of stuff in it. But back to my thought, I have a horrifying thought. What if Cresselia is in Azuril's dreams, trying to make it better, but because we exist, what if we are giving, like, Darkrai the power to torment Azuril somehow? And Cresselia's like, the only way to rid... Oh, okay, double great. And he made the gummy into a soda. But back to thought. Yeah, what if Cresselia's already in there? Trying to fix things up. And she's gonna blame us again. What if she just outright says, Because of you, Darkrai is running amok. Oh, oh double, 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 double! And he learned aggressor. Interesting, we'll have to take a look at that. Why is Silas getting smarter than me faster? I, I don't like this. I don't just want to be the token human of the group. I'm so much more than just a pretty face. <laughs> Putting someone in a dream asleep. I actually just realized that. You are completely right. It would be hilarious if it doesn't work. But, oh, that would be painful. I have Totter Seeds as backup, though. It's just that Sleep Seeds keep them in place while Totter still lets them, like, attack and stuff, but... Just, they have a, a bad time about it. We're gonna quickly go to the beach, just because we can. I do find it kind of funny that if we wanted to, we could just go on an expedition. Although, it'd be kind of funny if the game goes, nah, uh you can't go on an expedition. Hey, Neon, why are we going on an expedition? We have to save Azuril! Save and continue. Well, we are prepared. Let us head on to hell. Nihon Silas, you always, always help us. Thank you so much. Oh, are you two ready to go into the dream? We're ready. Yes, we're all set. Good. Then come over here. I'm going to send you into Azuril's dream. Here goes. Oh, that's an effect. And this is horrifying! Is this inside the dream? Silas, Neon! Can you hear me? It's me, Drowsy. Yes, we hear you. Good. It sounds like you're safely inside. As I've said before, there's something very bad about this dream. I don't think I need to remind you, but be careful in there. Okay, thanks, Drowsy. Let's get going. Into the dream. The Nightmare. Imagine if this just became a normal dungeon that we could come to whenever after we beat it. I just had the horrifying thought. Like, what if there was a mystery dungeon game... That actually had... Uh, Spinda? That actually had, like, the balls to do something like... 
you have to sacrifice yourself to save the world, but if you do, you actually die. No coming back. If you die, you're dead. That would be, like... Okay, okay, the game is fucking with me. It's only showing me Pokemon... Oh, no, okay, never mind. For a moment there, I was wondering if, like, Pokemon were only coming through when I couldn't touch them. And it was kind of being, like, jump scares, like, oh, you see Spinda walking around because Spinda's cafe. Oh, you see Wobbuffet, and why not? But you never actually interact with them. I think that would have been an interesting way to do things. Bastard. I think that would have been cool because it happened twice. Hello, Meowth. When did Azuril ever interact with a Meowth and a Skitty? Huh. Holes? Why are there holes in the dream? Why is this reminding me of the villain from Mario and Luigi Dream Team? It does kind of have that aesthetic, don't it? I actually played... Mario and Luigi Dream Team? I think that was, like, the special 3DS that I got. That, like... Had it pre-installed. But I never beat it. I really should go back and beat it someday. It's a fun time. <laughs> Wake up, Slap! In a dream, are you mocking me? <laughs> Imagine Darkrai versus a lucid dreamer. Darkrai enters a dream to make it a nightmare and torment you. I'll get this, an insipid hero. Surprise, Darkrai! I control my own dreams. Nani? <laughs> he... Ima imaginary dream technique, testicular torsion. Hello there, Espeon. Apparently, apparently, dark type is very good in dream. I'm just imagining where the hell has Azuril met all these Pokemon? Because for a while there, it seemed like it was just Pokemon that Azuril had met before. Aside from, like, the Skitty and Meowth, which a part of me wonders if that's, like, the game kind of poking, these are the Pokemon you could have been. Who if I didn't miss? You would have directly a bit died by destiny blood. Oh, I didn't even read what the what the attack was. Oh, that's horrifying. Hello, Skitty. But yeah, I think that would be cool if Azuril was like imagining all the different Pokemon you could have been somehow. Well, that's very mean. That's my attack. Go back to the bank in Rescue Team Land, Persian. While you invade people's dreams, remember to stay hydrated. Bash the Lickitung's face in. Bash the Lickitung's face in. Face has been bashed. We're gonna have to kill an Igly buff. I'm an... You fool, we're already in a dream. And I have non-sleeper. Which begs the question of how are we here? Where we both have non-sleeper. I guess maybe we turned off those sk that, that, that skill so he could fall asleep. Yet somehow our dream selves still have non-sleep. We're not going to fall victim to the paradox of falling asleep while we're asleep. We're not going to be inceptioned. How are we getting items? Are we plundering Azuril's memories? Like, hello, Krogunk. But, like, if we exit the dream with all these items, like... <laughs> I want up Drowsy Black... You better keep a tight lid on all those items you brought out of the nightmare. I ever since the incident of 53, it's been illegal to harvest memories and dreams for items. The implications of going into somebody's mind and coming out with physical items holds uh, terrifying implications. 
Hello, look a tongue. Why are you just watching carefully? That was weird. Did it have social anxiety? Did it just want an autograph? And then I killed it. I wonder if Pokemon in the Pokemon world have, like, species dysphoria. It's like, oh man, I wish I was a Lopunny instead of a Dunsparce. Basically, that would be kind of other kin, but in a way, kind of justified in a way. Because you are in a world of all these different creatures, and you're like, I wish I was a different creature in this fantastical world. Then the jerk-ass genie comes out and says, Itemizer orb! And then you become an apple. Guess I'll eat a grimy food because that one just annihilated my entire apple stock. No, my stock and apple! Now I'll never be rich! Well, that's very mean. Also, it's kind of interesting that... Like, he's dreaming of Igglybuff. I wonder why. I know that we have Wigglytuff. Maybe he's dreaming of, like, what the Guildmaster was like as a child, and was like, maybe I can be a Guildmaster too someday. Then again, this is meant to be a nightmare. So, like... Does Azuril fear all these Pokemon that we're running into? Are these, like, dream antibodies here trying to stop us from going through the nightmare? That reminds me of a story idea I have for, like, original fiction. Where, basically, I imagine it to be kind of Ghibli, fairy tale esque vibes. Where the main character is like a young child who is, uh, woke up during a dream to realize, like, the natural process of, uh, waking up, your dreams have to be taken away to, like, oh, save your mind for important things. So the dream butchers have to come in and literally slaughter your dreams to make way for the waking dawn. And, like, the entire... There's a way too many goddamn traps in here. So, like, the entire story is this young boy fighting against the dream butchers to save his dreams for the waking world. I, d I didn't get too far in, like, planning at all. I just kind of, like, simple Ghibli-esque adventure that can be creepy. I hate the fact that the itemizer orb can turn Pokemon into food, then proceed to eat them. Again, I think I read, like, a TV tropes that, uh, of a certain, like, Pokemon story, a Mystery Dungeon story that was being made a long time ago, and apparently one Pokemon decided to make a whole business out of that by turning Pokemon into gummies that they then sold. And it was played 100% horror, as it deserves. Because to put that in, like to put this into perspective, the itemizer orb does what the Wabajack in Elder Scrolls can do. The Wabajack being an a staff of an eldritch god of madness that, when casted with can have any number of effects, including turning somebody into a sweet roll that you can then eat. And it doesn't count as a crime. So the itemizer orb is on the same level as literal eldritch gods and how they feel about things. Why are there so many traps? There's so many traps, Billy. I mean, I accidentally did it to Apollo, but he was fine. Maybe the guild has, like, special ways to undo 
bastard, has special ways to undo itemizer orb accidents. Then again, there's always gameplay story segregation. Not everything needs to have an in-universe explanation, but it is fun to ponder about. It's kind of like the, um, in a way, acknowledging... Will you stop that? <laughs> in a way, it's kind of acknowledging the uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000 mantra of like... Uh, just keep in mind it's just a show. You should really just relax. Like, acknowledging that, yes, this is indeed just a piece of fiction. It doesn't necessarily work that way. But it's fun to think about regardless. Just don't take it too seriously, but have fun with it. But thanks, Neon, for the horrifying thought. I'm going to think about it now, when I sleep. <laughs> the Pokemon serial killer. That makes a... Basically, it's kind of... Uh, Inverse Hannibal Lecter? Making other people eat him. We've gone pretty deep in here, Neon. It appears as if it's just one long path from here. Let's keep going a little more. What? What's happening? You. How did you... How did you get here? There's someone here, Neon. Who is it? Where are you? Show yourself! I am. Oh, Cresselia. Completely wrong voice. What? You! You're... I am Cresselia. Cresselia? So I was right. Cresselia was going to be here, and now you're going to tell me to jump off a bridge. It's Cresselia. The one from my dreams. I cannot fathom how you've come here, but I find your visit ever so convenient. I've longed to meet the both of you. C Cresselia... So, you've been having dreams too, Silas? We, we have no communication. So my dreams, they weren't just ordinary dreams after all. What? Then what I saw in my dreams. Yes, what I told you in your dreams is true. You two aren't... Silas too? Is this also going to explain how Silas got the, like, Hidden Lands rock fragment? You two are not supposed to exist in this world. What? You two? I suspected this. That you and I were having the same dreams, Neon. I went to the future. Then I came back to this world. Oh, so that's what that is. Because we traveled through because he traveled through time at all, even though he returned, it still kind of destabilized things, according to Cresselia. <laughs> I don't like this. And it's causing the destruction of this world. So Cresselia said in my dreams. So it wasn't just me that had those dreams. And Silas is the same as I am. Silas is another presence that must not exist in this world. Cresselia said that to Silas too. Excuse me, Cresselia. Could you explain something for us? I traveled to the future and came back again. And Neon was a human who came from the future. You said that we're causing the distortion in the fabric of space in our world. If space itself becomes distorted, why will the world be destroyed? If the distortion in the fabric of space expands, the power of darkness will expand as well. Eventually, the world will become enveloped within a nightmare. Enveloped within a nightmare? Yes. Do you know where we are at this very moment? Well, we're in Azuril's dream, aren't we? That is correct. More precisely, we are in Azuril's nightmare. Azuril will remain... And again, it's playing the, the personality quiz music. Azuril will remain trapped by this nightmare, never to awaken again. This nightmare will eventually creep across the world. For now, only Azuril is afflicted with this nightmare. But soon other Pokémon will be drawn in by the nightmare's widening web. More and more Pokémon will fall into the... Excuse me. Ugh. More and more Pokemon will fall into the unending sleep. And ultimately, all Pokemon will be locked in this nightmare without end. A all Pokemon? Hey, Cresselia. What will it take to get rid of the distortion in the fabric of space? How can the space distortion be eliminated? 
there is but one way to eliminate the distortion. That is, for you to disappear. But that doesn't make sense because even if we die, I feel like we'd need to die in a special way to undo the distortion if we are indeed causing it. But like, it could just be a destiny bond thing, maybe. We accidentally destiny bonded the universe. What? Disappear? Us? I've been waiting for this opportunity. The opportunity to make you disappear. What? Wait a second! We don't want to disappear! We want to know more about what's happening! So you would rather see all Pokémon swallowed up by the nightmare? That's not... That isn't what I want. Cresselia, is this really true? If we disappear, will the world really be saved? I'm beginning not to trust her, Silas. We we should go back and talk to, like, Chadot and Wigglytuff and people. We shouldn't tr Go talk to the creation trio. Go talk to Dialga. We can go back to the hidden land. Will the world really be saved? Yes, it will be saved. For it is only your existence that is driving the world to ruin. <laughs> I'm very sorry that I must do this. Prepare to disappear. It must be done. The world must be saved. Wah! Hey! Oh, is it Azuril? Please say it's Azuril. Hello, Neon? And Silas? Or is it... It could be Drowsy. It's somebody. Where are you? Gah! Interrupted and my work here was nearly finished. I was interrupted this time. But I will see to it that you two disappear. Of course, if you wish to save the world on your own, you should consider making... The game just literally said, kill yourself. Oh my god. Consider making yourselves disappear first. Farewell. Ah! 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 Cresselia feels like the intrusive thoughts in the back of your head from my Chimchar. <laughs> it turns out it's not actually Cresselia. It's just the embodiment of all your anxieties. <sighs> that was close. Hey, so you are... So here you are. Oh, no, it's Drowsy. You came in after all. D Drowsy! Why are you here? You were taking so long to come back, I got worried. I decided to be brave and come looking for you. There's something dangerous about this place. We shouldn't stay here. Let's go back to the guild for the time being. Oh, yeah, that's horrifying, game. <laughs> Aha! Child-friendly, you should kill yourself now, I guess. Somebody, like, go and, like, replace low-tier god or whoever it is with lightning eyes, and instead make it Cresselia. Because Jesus. <coughs> ah. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. So you encountered Cresselia, and she said that Azuril's nightmare is caused by the distortion in the fabric of space. Don't you dare, game. Do not dare go and make Fugitive 2.0, where everybody goes, we need to kill them to save the world. I don't think the guild would do that. I don't think the guild would do that. But you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> yes. If nothing is done about it, all Pokemon will join Azuril in an unending sleep. That is what Cresselia said. Yes. Skook, if that's all true, this is terrible trouble to be sure. We've got to do something. So, Chadot, what do you know about Cresselia? I know of the Pokemon, but only from rumors. It is said Cresselia appears only during the night of the quarter moon. Well, it's not fucking night now. It is also said that this Pokemon can heal others' emotional scars simply with the gentle light from her body. Uh, she didn't seem so kindly. There's one more thing about Cresselia. This Pokemon is said to possess a mystical power that can banish darkness. The power to banish darkness. Hey, hey, so let's get this straight. If we don't do something, all the Pokemon in the world are going to fall asleep forever. Hey, hey, that means we have to do something now to fix the space distortion. 
Hey, Silas. Did Cresselia say anything about how the distortion of space can be stopped? W what? Uh, how to stop the distortion of space? Ah, why are you jumpy? D did I ask something weird? N no, it's not what you said. Sorry. I was thinking about something else. So, uh, a way of stopping the distortion of space. Hmm. No, I don't remember Cresselia saying a single thing about that. Ah, I see. That is unfortunate. Well, anyway, let's look into the distortion of space together. If we don't, we won't be able to stop the nightmare from spreading. Chat up. Yes, Guildmaster. <clears throat> All right, everyone. We'll disband for the day. And starting tomorrow, you are here to individually investigate the distortion of space itself. Yep, yep, we'll do. All right, dismissed. Very much understandable. <laughs> uh, yellow is not dis going to disappear for a second. They're not doing it. No encores. Yeah, we are. We already technically died. <laughs> when we were back at the guild, Trousy asked us if we knew how the distortion of space could be stopped. I lied. I didn't even think twice about it. As we know, there is a way to stop the distortion. The only solution is for us to disappear from this world. I just couldn't bring myself to say it. But is this something I really must tell everyone about? Hey, Neon. What should we do now? If we were to disappear, would the world be saved? In that case... Jesus Christ, game! What? What do you mean? They're actually contemplating this! Aha! Aha! Ah! Ha! Ah, just to break up the, 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 the disturbing thing that's going on. Let's read some chat. I want to continue the glasses and dream chat. I wear glasses, but in my dreams, I have perfect vision. I guess it all depends on the person. It all depends on a person's, like, self like perception so it could be that somebody who like you know so who knows it, it's probably a psychological thing in that your own perception of yourself in your dream but who knows but yeah it's just like game 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 i know that you you're using the use of euphemism of disappear but holy fuck in that case maybe that's the best thing to do uh, silas I, I can't take this. All this worrying's made me tired. Let's get some sleep, Neon. Jesus fucking Christ. The bastard bitch is gonna come back again this night, ain't it? <laughs> uh, I can't sleep. Silas is already asleep, I guess. But I have to wonder. I understand that we're causing the distortion of space, but how that leads to the world's ruin, I still can't believe it. I thought it was just merely something from a dream that first time, but then with the second dream, when I was told about the distortion of space, that was when I started thinking that maybe it was true. Hey, come to think of it, the morning after I had that dream, Silas said to me, Perfect use of flashback here. Why are you daydreaming? It's not like you, Neon. Come on, let's see some energy, Neon. Silas is even peppier than usual, but Silas could be right. Silas was unusually upbeat then. He was putting on a facade. Ah. Pain! This is adding depths and layers to the partner of this game, and it is painful! But Silas had just woke up from the same dream about Cresselia that I had. At that moment, Silas must have been acting extra cheerful around me. Because Silas suspected that I had just had the same dream. He was kind of returning the favor, like how we helped him a bit in the future. 
when he was kind of going through despair and we talked to him to try and bring up his spirit so he was returning the favor. Uh, and tried to cheer me up. Silas had to have been frightened. But Silas was much more concerned about me. He really does love us. Than in Azuril's nightmare, when Cresselia said what she tried to do. I felt crushed by that, but, 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 that's why I have to keep my spirits strong. My spirits strong. Spirits. And falling asleep. We have to be strong for the boy. Ah. Silas, no! Huh? Silas isn't here. Maybe outside? Silas, don't you fucking dare. Don't. Don't, Silas. So, Neon, you're awake too, huh? I couldn't sleep at all. Hey, Neon? Can't we be allowed to stay? Can't we stay in this world? When we fought Dialga at Temporal Tower, you fought even though you knew that you would disappear, Neon. Because even if you were to disappear, you thought that would save the world. That's why you did it, right? If that's the case, maybe we should do this, that this time too. Silas. It's true that I fought Dialga knowing that I would disappear if we succeeded. But it had to be done to prevent the world's, the, the planet's paralysis. Back then I was willing to disappear if it meant saving the world. And plus, it wasn't a, like a causal thing of me disappearing led to the saving of the world, Silas, here. Because for a moment, because I'm still trying to parse like the context of his words. Because I think he's saying the thing, he's like, hey, let's jump off this cliff. No, no, no. Because we don't have the full data. We don't have all the information. We do not. We had all the information with Dialgan Temporal Tower and stuff from two sources, Dusk Noir and Grovile. And I fought to fight that, and it just caused my disappearing. If we had to save the world by doing something, then disappearing, sure. But I don't trust anything that goes, you need to disappear to save the world. That feels too casual. Yeah. I feel the same thing this time, too. But is this situation really the same? But something... Something feels different this time around. Oh, Neon. What do you think? Should we... Really disappear from this world? Why? Ha! Ha! Oh! Ha ha! I don't know! Uh, you don't know? You must be thinking that maybe we ought to disappear, Neon. Well then, but something's weird. What? Do you think something's weird? What is it? What's weird? Everything Cresselia said. What exactly was odd about what Cresselia said? But we separately found out that we're causing the space distortion while at Luminous Spring, too. And if Azuril can't wake up from his nightmare because of the distortion, well, I think we have to believe what we were told. Uh, that is true, but something... Something is different about disappearing this time around. I know something is different, but what is it? I need to think carefully. That's it! That's right! This is different from before! Back when Dialga, my disappearance wasn't really a choice! I've got to explain that to Silas. Yes, that is exactly it. It wasn't, we need to disappear to save the world. It was, saving the world caused me to disappear. <laughs> what? It's different this time. What's... what's different? What? At Temporal Tower, you were willing to disappear. But it's not the same this time? What? You did what you did at Tim Pearl Tower because you had to. You changed your future because you knew it would lead to a world of peace. But your choice wasn't really the choice to disappear. But there's no telling what will happen if we disappear. Not this time. So we don't really know if that would bring peace to the world again. What you're saying is nothing about this is certain. That's true. 
It's true that things aren't completely certain, but... It is a fact that you are a human who came from the future, Neon. And I did go to the future and then come back to this world. And it does seem that, because of us, space has started to distort. There's no escaping the fact that we changed history. That must mean that we, what we were told is true. Silas. Oh. It's sunlight. The sun's coming up. Should we at least tell the guild, Silas? Of what we were told and what's going on. I think they'd like to know that their friends are suicidal. Oh, I'm beginning to feel lightheaded because of emotions. It's beautiful. It's another beautiful dawn. Oh, Neon. Seeing the sun come up this way makes me remember. I've seen the sun rise from here before. This isn't the first time. The first time... I was with Grovile. With Grovile? Yes. Remember when we first... It's playing in the hands of fate. Oh, God. I do, I do like that it's tying in the main story so much to this, and that there's so much story going on, but... Jesus Christ! Remember when we first came back from the future? We slept here? And that's when I saw the sunrise from here for the first time. I just remembered something about that first time. It's something Grovile asked me. But when all seemed lost, you refused to give up. Even I had given up. What compelled you? How did you manage to stay so strong? I didn't give up when we were trying to escape from the future. I guess that struck Grovile as being strange. That's why Grovile asked me, why I refused to give up. Stop stabbing my heart, Kim, exactly. I'll probably cry more if it was my own save because of emotional attachment. Yeah, this is just... I can't actually... It is honestly shocking that they are actually debating this in this game. They're like... They're like, oh, you know, it's a children's game, but this is like 60 hours in in the post-game. We can have the children main protagonists. Like, the, of these children... This, this game about children have the main protagonists co contemplate suicide for the greater good. Uh, uh. That's why Grovile asked me why I refused to give up. But I didn't know how to answer. I didn't know why I was brave then, but I thought about it, and I began to realize something. Well, I wonder too. I really don't know, but maybe, maybe it was because Neon stood by me. Neon? That was it. I managed to be brave because you were always with me, Neon. That was when I finally realized that. And that's what I told Grovile. Don't! Just before we lost Grovile in the Hidden Land. Silas! This is it for me! I'm taking Dusk Noir back to the future! Huh? B what? I can never come back here again. Watch Neon's back. Promise me! B but take your place, Grovile? I can't! You must and you will, because you can, Silas. You two are the greatest of combinations. Grovile entrusted me with his last wish. I'm ashamed. Oh, Neon, if you're not giving up, Neon, I won't give up either. Silas! There must be something that we can still do about this. There has to be a way of fixing things. A way that doesn't involve having to... to disappear. That's right. That's the silence I know. We have to keep going, Neon. Let's find a way out of this. Huh? The fact that they... The, the fact that they made the main characters debate it 
and be like, and, and they and they tied it in with what happened in the main story as like a potential argument that they should. Oh, stab me more, why don't you, game? Oh. I was just recovering from the sadness of the main game. Now the post game's reopening those scars. Exactly! And adding new ones. This game truly deserves the title of the first game to make me cry. The joyful looks the joyful looks adorable though, yeah. Because we only saw like adorable, happy Zoro and Neon like once or twice. Oh. Aha uh. uh, ha. Ha. Oh, okay, I, I just I just need a mo I need a moment. Okay. Sure. Yeah, it's just the fact that, like, it was kind of brought up in Rescue Team that, like, the main characters were willing to die to save the world. What with Rayquaza saying, if I let loose my hyper beam, you will be caught in the blast. And the partner of Rescue Team saying, don't you think we thought about that from the start? And it's basically canonical that you do die. From the hyperbeam blast, destroying the asteroid. And Gengar revives you by dragging your spirits through the dark world. But this one. The fact that there was more build-up to the main character disappearing. That it was integral to saving the world. And that now, hours upon hours later, the game is basically saying... Well, you disappeared to save the world once before. Why don't you do it again? Only instead of becoming f shining lights, you jump off a cliff. Jesus. Oh. My heart cannot take anymore. I had to set my 3DS down during the end credits and the cutscenes at the game's end. They, they, it's a very good... It, it, it's an emotional gut punch that's just amazing. Oh, Neon. I was just thinking. It was time that... It was time that was being destroyed before, right? And now the very fabric of space is becoming distorted. The destruction of time and the distortion of space. I can't begin to conceive of such things. But these troubles of time and space, I have a feeling they're related. Time and space. A possible connection? Do you remember when time was breaking down? Lapras gave us a lot of insight into Temporal Tower. So about this distortion of space, do you think Lapras might know something about it? Lapras? Well, actually, it wouldn't be unusual if Lapras did know something about this. I thought you'd think so too, Neon. Well then, let's settle it. Let's go see Lapras. Lapras should be at the beach. So let's hurry to the beach, Neon. And the fact that there's still no music, and again, the fact that they played in the hands of fate during that scene. Ah! Damn you, Cresselia. Exactly. I still think that we should tell the guild what's going on. Yo, I heard from the guild's crew. Sounds like there's bad trouble brewing again. I still think we should tell the guild that we are ever so slightly worried about everything. <laughs> ah. But, uh, yeah, again, we should definitely tell the guild that something bad is going on. That the bitch said, hey, kill yourself now. We should tell them so they know th the full context of Cresselia a little bit. Because I don't know if Cresselia... Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I do not know. I'm, I'm going to bring some big apples. And then these big apples are going to be turned to grime because this game is a whore. Everyone's all chicken into this distortion of space thing, yep, yep. I'll be on my way as soon as I get ready. Did you ever get secret or hidden power? <laughs> dear, dear Badoof. We came back to Treasure Town for a rare visit. I'm shocked by the news. Little Azuru's asleep and won't wake up? If nothing can be done, it won't just be Azuru. All Pokemon will get locked up and sleep forever. It's a crisis. It would hurt a lot more if some of the Pokemon said... Oh, if only, like, basically went a bit dark. It's like, I don't know if I want to fall asleep if I had to kill a Pokemon to save him. Oh, my 
my, things have taken a turn for the sinister. I hope something can be done before all Pokemon get caught in a nightmare. Everything is going fucking mad. You know, Neon, I'm actually tempted to buy a Chimchar plushie and Rihalu plushie, then put them together to show me and Apollo being partners. If you have the disposable income and the opportunity, I say do so. To honor the thing that truly struck at your heart. But it's just like, ah, this game is hurting me. Will you have thing for me this time, you stupid bitch? Uh, another wind heart? It's just a heart. <laughs> An actual heart. Why? I guess we'll buy another real card just because we can. Ah. But yeah, I'm still not over what this game has put down. The entire crew is investigating the distortion of space. If you discover anything, share it with us right away. Like, I want to see the reaction of the guild to hearing about it. Game, I very much demand. <laughs> like, honestly, 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 if the game doesn't give us a scene of Silas and Neon coming clean to the guild and admitting that Cresselia told them you are the cause of the distortion, kill yourself. And that we considered it at all. And that we see the reactions of everybody. I am tempted to write it myself. Oh. <laughs> Cresselia on the murder path. For most part, it's not even really the murder path. It is the encouraged suicide path. With the side of, if you don't do it, I will. Now we have to investigate the distortion of space. If we don't, we won't be able to stop the nightmare from spreading. Urgh. I'm gonna quickly check, like, Sunflora's diary. Is there anything new? Dang it, I... For some reason, brain just... Yeah. But still, just like... Yeah, that... Uh, nightmare Eek. It was so peaceful for a while, but now there's been a sinister incident. Little Azuru seems to be stuck in a nightmare that he can't wake up from. Oh my gosh! How is that possible? For the time being, Team Lost Light has gone off in search of a Pokemon named Drowsy. Apparently Drowsy can go into the dreams of others. It would be wonderful if Little Azuru could be awoken that way. P.S. Oh my gosh, I don't really want to even write anything like this, but maybe, well, lately. Maybe only because it's been so peaceful for so long, but... I can't get over this creepy feeling that something dreadful is going to happen. Uh, honestly, maybe new art project for self. I, I myself will draw Cresselia doing the you should kill yourself now meme with like you should disappear now. <laughs> Just like Jesus Christ. At least I, that could be in the thumbnail if I make it. <laughs> if I do it fast enough for the upload. Excuse me, Lapras. There's something we'd like to ask you. We're investigating the distortions in the fabric of space. The distortion of space itself. Yes, and we'd like to learn anything that you might know about it, Lapras. Hmm. C can you help us? Do you know anything? I'm sorry to say. I don't know anything about the space distortions. Oh, I see. However, I do know of a being that embodies space itself. What? A being that embodies space itself? Yes. Time and space are deeply connected. So just as Dialga governs time itself, so too there is a being that governs the fabric of space. Th that being? Who is it? Th its name is Palkia. This being is said to possess the ability to distort space itself. Is there going to be a third gut-wrenching chapter to this where we have to go fight the Giratina? 
Uh, I have I have a ton. <laughs> it's like you prepared to fight Palkia, right? I have a ton of reviver seeds. I have big apples. I have totters and sleeps. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't grab a pure seed. Oh, well, I have petrifies. I have petrify orbs. No monster houses will get me this time. Ah! And spatial rift is said to be its domain. The being that governs space, Palkia. Another being, like Dialga. If we meet Palkia, we might be able to learn more about the space distortions. So, uh, how do we get to the spatial rift? Can you travel there, Lapras? Just like you can go to the Hidden Land? I hate to disappoint, but I can't travel to Spatial Rift. I don't even know where it is. That is all I can tell you. Oh, all right. I'm sorry, Silas. I'm sorry that I'm not much help. No, no, not at all. Learning about the existence of Palkia is a big help for us. Thank you, Lapras. We'll investigate on our own from now on. I want that meme too, so when somebody asks me if post game is, I'll send that to them. That could work. Nah, Giratina is a hidden treasure. Just a, a Giratina plushie. So basically, Lapras didn't know much about the distortion of space, but he did tell us that Palkia controls space itself, and this being dwells in spatial rift. Palkia, huh? If we can meet with Palkia, we'd be able to ask about the distortion of space. But we don't have a clue as to where Spatial Rift is. Hmm, I guess there isn't any point in worrying about it now. Let's continue to investigate this tomorrow. There's no giving up now, Neon. Please don't attack us in our sleep, you bitch-ass Cresselia motherfucker. Wah! Tremors? Oh, you ho- what? 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 Palkia? Ah! I have found you at last. The defilers who are causing the distortion of time. Who are you? I am Palkia. I hope. Cresselia, if it is you? Cresselia, if you are doing this to try and beat us down, I'm going to be angry. I am Palkia. I hold sway over space. I have dominion over dimension. P Palkia? Y you're Palkia? You cannot escape now. This is the end of you. Oh, this is bad. Ah! And we just got fucking kidnapped. Don't toss us into... You're gonna toss us... Okay. I thought he was just gonna drop us into the ocean. Oh! But where is this? This is my domain. Spatial Rift. What? This is Spatial Rift? You dare distort space without my permission. I will be rid of you now. What? This is the end. What are you doing? There's absolutely nothing behind us. Dialga, could you? Damn it. Go! They fell. However, there is no escaping me. How did we not die? Ow, ow. Uh, are you okay, Neon? It looks like we landed somewhere else. And it's playing the Hidden Land music. <laughs> Undertale, I was actually thinking that exactly. But this is all such a shock. Who knew things would turn out this way? I don't understand. Why did Palkia suddenly attack us? You seem to be bellowing about the distortion of space. Palkia. Palkia seemed to know that we caused the distortion of space, and then he attacked us. But I don't understand why. There's no mistaking one thing. Palkia is trying to get rid of us. He might attempt another attack. We should get out of here as soon as we can. Let's go as soon as we're able, Neon. Jesus Christ! At least you can, like, 
Check your shit. Ah, Jesus. Okay, I think we're good. We'll take one pure seat. We'll take one pure seat. And save, but well, uh, first things first, I need to grab a pure seat, and then we can save. Not store, take. Uh, this is all moving very fast and into a pain. Everything. Everything. We have ton of reviver seeds, so we should be fine. I, remember, I see a character fall in the intro music for Undertale plays in my mind. <laughs> Definitely makes sense. You do a lot of falling in Undertale. Are you ready, Neon? Yes. Okay, we're all set to go. Okay, let's go! I swear, game, do not you dare do something like have Silas try to sacrifice himself to save us. Don't you dare. I will not stand for it. <laughs> Skate orb, because that can totally work here. Yeah, we're just going to power on through. Save our apples, save our reviver seeds. Oh, no. It's doing the freeze here, too. I'll definitely need to report this. Hopefully it'll be a, just a single hang like it did in the... Like, blah, 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 dark future at the final one. We just gotta power through. Hey, at least it happened early in the spatial rifts. You're just sleeping next to us, you, you jerk. A Gallade?! Ah, that didn't do much. I'm gonna kill you for that. And at least all the stairs are coming- A Magnazone?! Ah, oh, we really are criminals. And why was that one Charizard super tanky? But then all these other guys... Like, not at all. Huh. Oh, hey, speaking of Charizard... Get blasted, idiot. Jesus Christ, no. No! I should have used the always hit. Well, since we just got an Orenberry, <laughs> it's the world crying out to <laughs> give Silas an Orenberry. Hello, Magnazone. Die. Oh, damn it. Okay, I'll kill you extra hard. Level up for the boy! Good, I leveled up! And you got ones across the board. Please... Please die. And I'm the first one to use a Reviver Seed. Because the game is like, oh, you're gonna miss now. And this is why I like to use my always hits, because missing is mean. Missing should be illegal. A green gummy. I don't think we found a green gummy the entire time I've been playing this game until right then. It was always grass gummies. Huh. I guess good thing that, like, no starters use green gummy as a gummy to, like, level up your intelligence? Well, at least we got that Doom Seed before an AI did. Uh, hello, Chatot. I guess we'll kill you. I could see many players going. Ah, that was cathartic. <laughs> Catharsis through proxy. You are a whore. Die. Damn it. At least I got him off our back. Don't use Ominous Wind again. Fine, I'll do this then. <laughs> you thought you were safe? Nah, bitch. I have omnipresent damage. It may not be room, 
Also, I just realized something that bothers me. Oh, hey, another sleep seat. That's cool. But, like, why is my AoE, I can hit multiple enemies that are around me move, have low accuracy and misses a lot, but the AI has, like, room-wide hit moves that always hit and rarely ever miss? And now things are becoming dingy, dark, and creepy again. Well, at least the at least the emulator, like, oh, you went up a, a flight of stairs, like, hanging glitch, adds a bit of tension to every single stairs, don't you think? But we made it through the, like, uh, the last dungeon of the last special episode, and it suffered, so I think we can do it. For God's sake, if if the emulator decided to hang right there as I said that, I would have, oh, I would have been hilarious. I would have laughed and cried. Just a bunch of warp seeds. Why would there just be a bunch of warp seeds there? What are even the, these seeds? What it? Like, what even is, like, well, that's not good at all. Wait, like, what even is, ba ba ba? I'm trying to think. I lost my train of thought. Oh, what even are these, like, the, the seeds, the plant, like, what are they seeds to? They can't just be, oh... It's uh, the diddly D seed. It has to be from a plant. So what plant is it from? That's what I wonder. Get rocked, idiot. Get rocked, idiot. Oh, you're right in front of me. Die. Double damn you. And of course you have discharge because you will bitch. And of course, all the enemies corner us in this dead end. Dead ends should be illegal. How do you even get here to go to sleep? I should have tried to move. There we go. Now you have another target to bash your face against. And I need to get out of here. Hopefully he can't U-turn around corners. <laughs> well, I just made the decision. I brought I bought three plushies. May they <laughs> help you in times of crisis. Toy Story style. No more discharge. Damn it. I don't know why you magnetized. I thought you already had levitate. Yeah, sure. Just stay around that corner. Keep getting hit by rocks. I think you get obliterated, idiot. And another doom seed. I think the game is telling me something. I wish I could tell the AI to use moves. I hate that the, these rocks do 20 damage. Why have, do they even have a chance to miss this late into the game? It just seems a bit spiteful. Oh, damn it. I actually got hit by a freaking fake item. I can't believe it. At least it was one on the ground, so I wasn't paying too much attention. Then again, that's how they get you. Oh, I probably should have used an actual move. Never mind. Silas is here to save the day.
prepare to die. Sableye. Interesting that Sableye, creatures that we've only seen in the future, exist in, the in this rift. Gotta throw rocks. Gotta throw rocks. Gotta throw rocks and rocks and rock a rock a rocks and. Thank you for always hit attacks. They ease the pain. Fight me, Robo Man. Pokemon Robocop. You whore. Luckily, nothing bad seemed to happen. I have five billion goddamn rocks to throw at you. I don't need attacks. I just need a lot of rocks. It's like I'm from the Muffin Factory. Oh man, are you ever gonna run out of muffins? No, because I work at the Muffin Factory. Black gummy fucker! Not worth it! <laughs> my desk is already decorated with my Pokemon team. Now you can have your Pokemon Mystery Dungeon team as backup. Actually, we don't even need to fight you. You can keep your money. Right, just another warp seed. So many warp seeds. No. And it's only the halfway point. Yes, please. Oh! This is such intense everything. Remember to stay hydrated. That moment when you and your friend are suicidal and being chased by the god of space. This is a boppin' beat. A very boppinish beat. Oh, that works too. I should have eaten it for a slight bit of boost to the belly, but we've only just been here. It's a blue gummy. Silas, our child, is talking to us from beyond the universe to say, keep going. I like Absol. Absol is also really great. I need to draw more Absol and then draw more of my Sylveon, Pokisona. So then I can then draw them together. Through the power of drawing, I can use my art skills to play with characters like action figures. <laughs> For a moment, I was just like, oh, I'm never going to use a, a Doom Seed. But you know what? No. I'm going to Doom Seed the fuck out of Palkia. I think I have a decent amount of Doom Seeds. I'm going to lower his fucking ass un until the Distortion World so that Giratina can play bongos! Congratulations. You helping hand... You... I know you're coming for me, so I'm gonna keep throwing rocks at you. So, I'm gonna keep throwing rocks at you. Toodaloo! A lot of gummies down here. Petrify orb time! Hey, look at this! Petrify Orb! That loads Doom Seeds of violent intent. I do like that my partner is smart enough to not attack enemies that I'm not attacking. Thank God that stun seeds are so... What the fuck? How'd you... How'd you break out of that?
Okay, Petrify not as good as I thought. And they use Ominous Wind, because this game's a bitch. Don't you dare again. Damn it. That's so stupid that they can break out. It's my only way of, like, keeping these bastards under lock and key. In a monster house. So mean. Oh, is it? Was it from the dry weather or whatever the fuck that is? The weather condition fucked me. What evils? And God, there's so many gummies in here. Well, at least when it comes to the boss fight, I don't think I'm going to have much to super worry about. Because really... I don't think... Uh, if we get a seed off on him, I think we're, we're going to be good. But again, the only time that anything fucking happens with the monster houses is when the game's a bitch fucking drops me in there as a spawn location. Every single time. Why is that its go-to? Why is it programmed to do that? It's bad design. Please be a reviver seed. You whore. Get out of here. Oh, hey, I can just do this. Die. Because I'm a non traitor. <laughs> running from an immobilized Pokemon increases the chance of losing the status. But I wasn't running away. I was getting in, I was moving towards them. It's just such bullshit. Especially because I was spawned in there. That really shouldn't be a thing. If the game is going to have something like that, like, oh, well, if you move away from them and you spawn me in the middle of them, I feel like I should get, like, um, like... What's the word? Ba ba ba. I forget the word. But like, I, I should get a free pass. It's like, you threw me in there. I literally cannot move without moving away from one of them. So, just let me play the game? It's just so unbelievably cruel. Oh, it's a mix elixir. <laughs> I see you this time, bitch. Wait, I still think it's shenanigans. Like, I understand it from some degree, so that if you're, like, fighting a strong Pokemon, on you can't really just... throw down and petrify him and then run away, but like, come on. It's a monster house you spawned me into. I can't exactly move without moving away. Why does Palkia even have money in his dungeon? Spatial Rift Bottom. Huh? Neon, over there! It's a dead end! What should we do? We can't go any farther. Wah! Tremors! It's the bastard, he found us. P Palkia! Your resistance is useless. 
You will never escape from this place. Ugh. I will reveal why. It is your fate to be obliterated by me. Dialgo, really, I like your help here. Here he comes, Neon. We have to fight. This is it. Oh, this is some music. All right, Silas. You can use that now. Um, just because I don't know... Well, first things first, Doomseed! Of course you do that, you bastard. Well, that just means... <gasps> second Doomseed! And now... Sleep Seed! He has a cute sleeping animation. Go after foes, Silas. Silas, why'd you stop? Oh, <laughs> is the map weird? Yeah, there you go, go after foes. Oh, he has Intimidator. Haha, <laughs> get everything, idiot. Double fuck you game. I know that I gave it to him, but still. Now, Totter Seed! And he died. His one spiteful move was to lower my goddamn level. <laughs> La, look at adorable he looks when he's sleeping. Exactly. Huh? Palkia... Palkia stopped moving? Is this actually a nightmare or something? What's happening? What ha what happened to him? Palkia has been... Palkia has been enveloped by the nightmare, just as Azuril has. A voice! Where is it coming from? Who are you? What do you mean Palkia has been enveloped in a nightmare? It means that the power of darkness has spread so much farther. If its growth remains unchecked, the world will become drowned in darkness. But you too. Would you enter Palkia's nightmare? What? Palkia's nightmare? Yes. By entering his nightmare, you will learn why Palkia attacked you. So, what will you do? What will we do, Neon? Should we enter and go into the nightmare? Oh, it's not like we can leave the spatial rift place. We don't even know how we. Well, we got. We got. We brought. We were brought here by Palkia. We kind of have to. Fine, you've decided. I will send you into Palkia's nightmare. <laughs> Where exactly are you? In the spatial rift. <laughs> Palkia's domain. Hi. Hey, Palkia. You two, what are you doing in my dreams? No, I remember. We battled. So why am I dreaming? You've been enveloped by a nightmare, Palkia. What? What did you say? I'm in a nightmare. Ah! This proves it. You both should not exist. Ah, uh, come on. We just fought, man. Uh, Palkia! Wait a second! We want to ask you something. Palkia, why are you trying to get rid of us? You dare pretend that you didn't know? You are distorting space with reckless abandon. If the distortion spreads, the power of darkness will grow. If the world will be drowned in this nightmare of darkness, to prevent it, you must be wiped from existence. Uh, but there must be... There must be some other way! You govern space and dimension, don't you, Palkia? Can you correct the distortion of space yourself? It is true that I can bend space to my will. But, for the first time ever, I am unable to control a part of space. Worse still, the distortion of space is amplifying! This is all you're doing! There is now but one way to save the world, and that is for you to be erased from this world forever! How convenient the one time an, a, a frickin' legendary decides to do his job and be proactive, if the day comes to kill me! <laughs> Palkia is saying the same thing Cresselia said. Oh, Neon. 
Cresselia was telling us the truth after all. Maybe they're right about us. Maybe we do have to disappear. No, 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 I don't trust nothing, no! Silas! I feel sorry for you, but this must be done to preserve peace. Please understand. P Palkia. Ah, here you are. I found you at last. G the bitch! C Cresselia! The spreading darkness engulfs even this place. You must be eliminated as soon as possible. God damn it! Before we finally pass the point of no return. Uh, Neon. Refused to give up. But we did. We did what we could. After everything we did. Was it all for nothing? Was all our effort a waste? So are you ready for your end? Uh, Cresselia. One moment. Tell us one last thing. If we disappear, will the world really and truly be saved? Yes, it absolutely will. The world will be saved. It's beyond a shadow of a doubt. Are you finally satisfied? Yes. If we must... If we really must disappear. If that will save the world... After so much, Silas's will is starting to sway, and so is mine. But is this truly and absolutely the correct course of action? Wait, Cresselia. Blinded by fury, I attacked them earlier. But upon seeing them now, they do not seem driven by malice or wickedness. In my dreams, Cresselia, you insisted that they were bad. But are they truly bad? You are the bitch! C Cresselia said that about us? In Palkia's dreams? Don't be fooled by appearances, Palkia. If we get rid of them now, all will be saved. So just like we did, Palkia met Cresselia in his dreams. But now Palkia is growing suspicious. Something is very wrong here. All this is based on what Cresselia claims. Enough, I will be rid of you now. Silas, don't abandon hope. Now take this. Yes, that's exactly it. Never abandon hope. What? 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 Oh! What? There's a second Cresselia? Yo! I should have seen that coming, but I didn't! Mm. What? What? What is this? Who is this? Excellent. I was just in time. Blast you. Cresselia! I've been foiled, just as I was about to dispose of those meddlers once and for all! Please listen, Neon, Silas, and Palkia. You have been misled all this time by Darkrai there. What? The Cresselia you thought you knew until now was not me. That false Cresselia was nothing more than an illusion made by Darkrai. This motherfucker was going to gaslight us into killing ourselves. Why the fuck? <laughs> like I did I didn't even really think too much of like hey why is Cresselia acting like this but uh, uh, <laughs> okay that false Cresselia was nothing more than an illusion made by Darkrai it was merely a mockery of me what the Cresselia we knew up to now it was just a fake Darkrai, using an illusionary duplicate of me to deceive others, is so typical of you. But, you're usu but you usually never bring your actual self out of hiding. You normally operate under the cover of darkness. That you'd personally emerge from the shadows to dispose of these two, that is very unlike you. 
you two behind Cresselia. What? Us? Correct. Pay close attention. Now that one truly responsible for exploding... <laughs> exploding? I want this twink space exploded. Now the one truly responsible for exploiting the space distortion, for shrouding the world in nightmare, it is my doing. Mine alone. What? What did you say? You are more than welcome to try and stop me. Come to me in the dark crater. You're not getting away, Darkrai. And he's a bitch. Darkrai vanished. You cannot catch me, Cresselia. Not ever. You too. I shall be waiting in the dark crater. Dark crater. Ha <laughs> Cresselia will eat your reviver seeds. And I don't think I have that many. Oh no. Meryl! Azuril, that's great! You woke up from your nightmare! Yep. You did it, Miss Cresselia. Thank you so much. And Mr. Drowsy, too. Ah, uh, me? Thank you very much, Mr. Drowsy. Mr. Drowsy, I have to thank you, too. You stayed to take care of Azuril this whole time. Thank you so very much. Uh, well, shucks, it's the least I could do. Listen, Cresselia, what happened to Palkia? Palkia is immersed within Spatial Rift, where he's attempting to take care of the distortion of space. As the being that governs space itself, he is taking, staking his pride on success. Given that duty, I would not expect to see him manifest here again. Well done! How, re how remarkable! It's truly quite marvelous! Marvelous indeed, Cresselia! We heard of your power to dispel darkness, but only in rumor. But it was all true. I must say, this is completely marvelous! I understand. You used your power when we were in Palkia's nightmare. That's how you pulled Palkia and us out of the nightmare. Indeed. I do kind of like that Cresselia's theme. In general, seems to be the personality quiz. I do have the power to dispel darkness. It lets me dispel nightmares and awaken those in deepest sleep. Darkrai stands as an opposite to my being. He has the power to enshroud those who sleep in nightmare. Silas and Neon. Do you recall where you met my imposter? The imposter, that is to say, the first Cresselia you met. Those encounters were always within dreams, weren't they? That's... that's true. It's true. The first time I w was in a dream. Then later on, come to think of it. Also in a nightmare. I cannot fathom how you've come here, but I find your visit ever so convenient. I've longed to meet both of you. That time I wasn't dreaming, so I guess it never occurred to me. But I realized that it was in Azuril's nightmare. In other words, it was still in a dream. Then the next time we met, it was in Palkia's nightmare. That first Cresselia, we encountered her only in dreams. Darkrai has the power to create realistic illusions. What Darkrai was doing was using his illusions to make you think you were seeing me. It was all an elaborate ruse to get at you, Neon and Silas, so that your whole existence could be eliminated. What? To eliminate Neon and Silas from this world? Eliminate those two? Well, it's shocking that he wants to get rid of you. But why would Dark Ray plot something so complicated? Why go to all the trouble to using a Cresselia imposter? Wouldn't it be faster to confront them directly in battle? I would guess that it was all out of fear of Neon and Silas. Darkrai was afraid of me and Neon? Yes, because Neon and Silas saved the world once before. That was when they prevented the collapse of Temporal Tower. But who was really the one that put the ruin of Temporal Tower in motion? Who was it that really sought to put the planet into paralysis? It was none other than Darkrai. This now makes me wonder, in between... <laughs> Excuse me. In between the release of Explorers of Time and Darkness and Explorers of Sky, 
I wonder if there were any fanfics that were like, ooh, I wonder how Temporal Tower was coming to crumble. I wonder how that happened. And actually dove into those, like, differences before they were being, like, <laughs> explained here in the post game. Unless the post game was always in Time and Darkness. But at the same time, it feels a bit like, I don't know, it's like it's such a complete package. It's hard to tell. <laughs> it was none other than Darkrai. What? D Darkrai was behind the crisis at Temporal Tower? Darkrai intends to enshroud the world in darkness. Darkrai failed to do that with the destruction of Temporal Tower. After that failure, he turned his attention to the distortion of space itself. If the distortion of space were to grow, Darkrai's power to create nightmares would also grow. What he sought to do was envelop all Pokémon in a nightmare. It was all Darkrai's doing. He was making the distortion of space expand. Darkrai was doing that. Isn't the space extor distortion expanding because of our existence? It is true that your existence is causing space distortion, but the distortion you cause is extremely small. Furthermore, your distortion of space won't expand on its own. Th then... Yes, the expanding distortion of space has nothing to do with you. It was blamed on you, however, so that you would be eliminated. It was all part of Darkrai's elaborate deception. Oh, Neon. I... I... I'm so glad. It's playing in Hands of Fate again. We're not beings that must not exist. It's okay for us to live in this world. We're not unwanted. <laughs> oh, we've never seen that before. We've never seen that, that portrait before. Silas. I don't know what you two went through, but it's just not possible for either of you, Silas and Neon, to be unwanted in this world. If either of you went away, Silas or Neon, it would make me sad. I think everyone at the guild would be sad too. It makes us happy that you're with us, Silas and Neon. That's reason enough to keep existing. Wigglytuff. More than that, it's not just Silas or Neon. Everyone here. All the Pokemon in the world. Not one of their lives is without meaning. So never think that you're not wanted ever again. Stay full of cheer, all right? <laughs> Thank you, Wigglytuff. That was nice. That was that that was that was very nice. That was so nice. Hey hey! But talk about dirty and dishonest! That dark is a piece of shit! He never comes out in the open. He does his nefarious work from the shadows. If you confront him, he will always flee. That is how Darkrai has always done things. <laughs> My heart, please give it mercy. I always cried enough in this game. It's just like it's just like that part beautifully handled. And again, that we actually get to see sobbing, crying <laughs> Zoroa portrait. But Darkrai is doing something so unlike him right now. He has invited Silas and Neon to confront him. It's true. Darkrai left those, those parting words. You are more than welcome to try and stop me. Come to me in the dark crater. You two, I shall be waiting in the dark crater. Dark crater. Darkrai told us to go to the dark crater and that he would be waiting for us. Cresselia, you believe that he... <clears throat> I need to do his voice better. Wigglytuff deserves the respect. Cresselia, you believe that he demanded Silas and Neon come to him for a reason, don't you? Do you believe that it's a trap? Yes, it's a trap without a doubt. It doesn't matter if it's a trap or not. If we don't stop Darkrai, he'll smother the whole world with darkness. We, w we have to do something. We're going to the Dark Crater. Okay, I respect your decision. I will accompany you. 
I have long been aware of Darkrai's scheme. I have pursued him a long time to thwart his plan. And they're playing the Time Gear Let Motif music of, like, going to the Hidden Land on Lapras. As well as Grovile Sacrifice music. I have pursued him a long time to thwart his plan. But every time I caught up to him, he would elude me. This time, he is waiting for us. I would like to settle this once and for all. I'll go too. Me too. Yep, yep, I'll go by golly. I'm delighted by everyone's offer to help. I'm afraid that Darkrai would be scared off if too many of us were to go. This is a rare chance to corner Darkrai and stop his nefarious scheme. Please be content with just the three of us. Aw, that's too bad. But I'd have to say you all all right. Don't worry, everyone. We'll be sure to defeat Darkrai and come back. Yes, you do that. If anyone can, it's you. You all take care, by golly. Everyone, thank you. Let's go, Neon. Let's go to the Dark Crater, where Darkrai awaits us. To the northwest of here, there is a land of volcanic terrain. The Dark Crater is located there. Please tell me when you're ready to leave. I will guide you to the Dark Crater. This is utterly amazing. You show that Dark Knight you picked the wrong bunch to mess with! Good luck, Neon and Silas. Go, 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 Neon and Silas! Don't let that dark ride beat you. Malvolent darkness. The darkness spreads and deepens. Its progress can be halted, yes, but only by you. I shall ask this of you. Stop dark Rai's future of nightmares. I shall pay that money to appraise the things. Give me reviver seats, please. Blocks. And so it is revealed within these boxes were a gamite claw, flamethrower, ivy fang, jerus claw, maggot plug. Nothing that I liked. Yeah. So what level is Cresselia then? Probably like 47 or something. I've heard you have to face a tough enemy, but you two can do it. You're sure to win. Don't lose faith. Thank you, Mama Kangaskhan. You don't say much, but you say everything that needs to be said. All of my, all of my goddamn food is being turned into grime. But it's just like a Jesus Christ. Everything. Everything. Same as it ever was. Ah! This arc. This arc feels straight out of just the normal, like... just the normal story. He's just utterly... Um, yeah. It's just so impressive how they're making this. Oh, no, dang it, he had to say the thing and I missed it. And he doesn't have uh, like normal, he doesn't have good things for me. Please don't succumb to anyone bad. Go forward to victory. Fight! Fight! I'm already four parallel universes ahead of you. You throw everything you have into this, you two! You said that dark rise straight! You're our only hope. You have to beat Darkrai for us, please. Don't let that scheming Darkrai beat you. Everything was Dark Rice doing. I, for one, am amazed. Be strong for us and go bring peace to the world. Good luck. Go for it. Best of luck. Do take care. It is just utterly insane. Just all of this. Again, just the topics that they've tackled here feel crazy. 
We'll go check out the beach. It'd be kind of nice if, like, Manaphy was on the beach and able to root us on. The whole plot to destroy Temporal Tower, and the plot to expand the distortion of space itself. It was all put into motion by that wicked Pokemon Darkrai. I must add my voice to all those already pleading for your help, Neon. Please stop Darkrai's awful scheme. Bring lasting peace to the world. It is also kind of interesting that, like, this post-game is kind of acting as almost a sequel. Going to, like, hey, go save the world. Yep, we're going to the swap shop, but we're just going to check some things out. Have you heard of Shaman's Delivery Service? It's a service that will deliver sky gifts to others. The shop is near the Shaman Village's entrance. You should check it out sometime. Ever since I came back from Sky Peak, the daily routine has been kind of boring. I <laughs> see. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. A blue gummy for our blue child, who sadly is not here to cheer us on. Like, honestly, this is feeling like a second ending to the game. <laughs> Real wondering about that 7H rating. Speaking of Manaphy, where is the Prince of the Sea? He is out there because he wasn't doing good in the environment that wasn't the sea and was getting sick, so we had to send him out to live a life that was better suited for him in a good environment. And we haven't seen him since. He had to be dragged into the ocean screaming our names. It's honestly very sad. Oh, and thank you. I just kind of... My brain. My brain is just flooded with just like all of what the story is doing. And it is just so impressive. Like, sure, it is a little hokey with all of the eliminated, disappeared, but it's still very well done. I got both of the very goods. I am a god. Now we'll check out the swap shop. Talk to any remaining guild members. <laughs> Drink the juice! Exactly. I'm gonna be looking forward to your team's safe return, Neon. Unless we die. Hey, hey, don't let that dark ride beat you now! Hey, hey! Oh my, there's no telling what traps are in store for you. Please be careful. Good luck. That's all she has to say. I hope your team does well, Neon. Go for it, you two! What? You'd rather go on a sentry duty? No, that's not what we're here for. I just want to get his opinion. <laughs> you can't fail now. Another Valiant Rock. Snub Cape, Moving Scarf, Scheme Scarf. Nothing for me. Yeah. Sadness. Profound sadness. What, do I need to hit a certain rank before I can start getting stuff? Or am I just unlucky? So it was all Darkrai's doing. You two can do it. You've shown me you can. It's all up to you to defeat that Darkrai. Well, if everything's set in motion, we have a decent amount of Reviver Seeds. Probably not as many as I'd like. We're going to have to protect Cresselia with our lives. But let's save and go. Save the world one more time. One more time. It's time to celebrate. I only know that song from the, like the Pentatonics cover, I think. <laughs> Are you ready to be, uh, go to Dark Crater? We're ready. Very well. Let us be on our way. Off we go to the Dark Crater. All this place is horrifying. Put some faces into the rocks. Subtly in this place is out of nightmare fuel. Remember to stay hydrated as you go off to your death. I really should make like a drink, like a sprite of my character drinking whenever I do a drink. 
So this is the entrance to the Dark Crater. Here we face Darkrai. There's no telling what he has in store for us. We must proceed with the utmost care. And now, for an escort mission. We do not care about items, we only care about getting out of here as quickly as possible. Oh, I still have him set to go after enemies. Oh hey, I leveled up again. Hey, I was right! Cresselia is level 50, uh, 47. And it looks like we cannot order Cresselia around. Which is very annoying. If she gets ambushed, bad things. Okay, the first few floors seem to be not that bad. And this is actually some neat music. Oh, I can't believe I killed YOLO. What the fuck was that? Why is there a question mark trap? What's a... Is it a combuscan? We're gonna kill Team Pokey Pals! Now the music's getting kind of freaky. Um, please die. Oh, that's not very nice. I'm going to assume that it gets progressively harder as time goes on. Also, there were like no items on that floor. Why did it say there were super amount of items when there was not that many items. And now this place is taking after... No. The Dark Crater. This layout. Is this just that one dungeon that we did that one time in the future? Could it be? Well, rip the fun, gang. Because I killed the Chimchar. But yeah, that layout felt so much like the future location. School the money, we go. We are not going to give the enemies a chance to attack. Chris oh, Cresselia took a deep breath. What does that mean? Hello, Flareon. Why is it that the deeper we go into this game, the more I... Oh, you just died. What? Ah, uh, take a deep breath, restores power points. Apparently. Interesting. Ah, it's the exit. But this music has, a, has an element to it that I really, really like. I really like the music. Another Max Elixir. And a purple gummy. Darn, it's not a black gummy. A psychic type, a fighting type, and a dark type. I can't help but think that only one member of the team would be effective against Darkrai. Huh. I didn't think about that. Well, it's not like I saw the future and knew what I was going to fight. All right, thank... Jesus Christ. Cresselia, please come to us. Never mind, you should not have come to us. Please, miss. Okay, never mind, yes, attack me. Attack me, you whore. Congratulations, you survived by the skin of your teeth because frickin' trap bastards. The trap bastards are here to kill, and I hate it. Damn you, warp tile. Hey, this is just such good music. Hello, Chimchar. Die by rock. 
Oh, I thought you were gonna die. You have more than 20 health? Even. I can't believe I killed the ghost of YOLO's past. <laughs> now I'm imagining... YOLO. Having a nightmare of like, Why did Azorua kill me in the dark crater? What was going on there? <laughs> Why was I so weak? Where'd my stylish cap go? Another warp seed. Why are there so many warp seeds in these places at the end of the game? You feel the you killed the female timeline, YOLO. Into the YOLOverse. It is all just in in the dark crater. Curve band. For some reason, that sounds scary. Hello, Arcanine. Please die. Yeah, I used a dark move on a dark type, you idiot. Only I can do that, because I'm powerful. I'm God. I killed a God. I can kill you. Want me to show you my credentials? I'm gonna throw a rock at you. There are male and female timelines. That explains everything. I mean, I'm Zorro Neon's female. But it's mostly a tra tradition at this point where all the Pokemon that I want to play as in a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game are gender-locked to female. In Rescue Team, it was Eevee. In... In... Sky, it was still Eevee. And then... In, uh... Blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to think. And then in uh, this expanded Skyrom hack, Zorowa was also female locked. Which amuses me greatly. It's just extra funny. That that just continuously happens. Awesome, I leveled up! And then hilariously, when they give you the option, like, when they released, I think it was, Gates to Infinity, and you just select your Pokemon, they also allowed you to select your gender, I think, in the Japanese version, but then they removed that for the, Ameri or for the Western release. Which is just very silly and stupid. Let people be the gay Pokemon they know they are. Die, Ponyta. I keep forgetting I need to take that off. Because why use Endure and stuff when you can just kill? Isn't the gender for Zora Zorax uh, like 87.5 male and 12.5 female? I don't know. The, the, the expanded Skyrom hack made it so that... But it was probably more just for, like, logistical reasons. Because they only had so many, like, slots to put Pokemon into the game. So they... Each slot of gender lock was used for a individual Pokemon, and they still had to split the ROM hack into two different parts to fit all the Pokemon they wanted. <laughs> Which is just hilarious. But it's still amusing to me. Oh, wait. But it's still amusing to me that, like... the po <laughs> Once again, the Pokemon I want to be in the ROM hack is gender luck to female. <laughs> It is just a thing with me in Mystery Dungeon, I guess. Of course you do that. At least it's just 10 damage. But still. <laughs> it's basically an insult to injury. Has anybody, like, obviously, due to just how many people play the game, somebody had to have. But it is 
baffling imagining, like, somebody fainting to a pit- or, a uh, the bubba bu what's it called? Chestnut trap. Uh, Chriselli took a deep breath. What does that mean? I do believe that early on, chat said... Someone else in chat said that deep breath restores a power point each time. So it seems to be each time you go up a, or down a floor, a, the character takes a deep breath and regains a power point, which is very nice. Again, I just like the music. Hello, Kolava, I'm gonna kill you. You dare to exist and you dare to die. You dare to dream, and so do I. But my dreams are more important than your dreams. So be gone. Just a bit of healing next to the exit. And now we get the gold. <laughs> well, there goes Monferno. Everyone gets murdered up in here. Not the Charmeleon. Not the Charmelon. My silver gummy. I'm sure there's an item in here I don't mind. Like, no skip, I don't care. Swap. Dang it. I should just use my always hit move. Always hit will always hit. And always hit means more murder. Well, that's not very nice at all. Well, we'll get rid of the pony tub, because that'll be easy. And apparently that was easy, too. What, what's a sneak scarf? A held item that prevents the Pokemon from awakening sleeping enemies. It works only on enemies that are asleep from the start. Interesting. Useless to me, but interesting. A blue gummy. Our child reaches out beyond space and time. To give us his blessing and cheer us on once more, Silas. Now I'm imagining a Phoenix Wright RPG. It just came to mind. Uh, switch orb, don't care. You know it would be disturbing if, like, the deeper we go into the crater, the less and less enemies we run into? So that the dungeon just feels dreary and empty. Aside from that notification pickup, it kind of was. Would like save, uh, save. There's no telling when Darkrai will strike. Let's proceed with utmost caution. He proceeds to strike right after we leave this room. And for some reason, my brain went to Ball's Deep Crater. What is with all the warp seeds? All of the warp seeds. All of them. Hello, Brock. Through the power of rock. Oh, I don't have to worry about your attacks, re the attacks rebounding. Quit pecking me. I'm not going to kiss you. <laughs> no, Greed. I won't kiss you. Well, that's just very rude. It honed in on me. Monferno, why? Sil you are a whore in a basket weaver's case. I hate multi-hit room moves. They're evil. Made by Satan. Actually, yeah, now you come to th speak of it. This is ominous music. 
Then again, we are basically going to fight... <laughs> Hi, Shadow. It's me, the devil. From the Bible. Phoenix Wright is just one big game of rock, paper, scissors to me. Objection, hold it, take that. So that could work. Now, hold it and objection are kind of similar, though. And besides, we also have, uh, whip. An autopsy report. <laughs> <laughs> Which just would be interesting, maybe. But like, <laughs> well, actually, come to think of it, there are kind of uh, quirky RPGs that have been made out there. So, making uh, an RPG encounter basically play out kind of Final Fantasy esque, but with like. Uh, it impl being implied that it's just like an argument, you breaking down their Cyclops. You bastard, give me a reviser seat, but not a reviser seat. I will hunt your family, Cresselia. Why would you do that? You are perfectly safe, and then you decided to go into danger. Swap A. Remember to take your meditative deep breaths when going into hell. It's hot enough to be hell. Why did... Cresselia, why are you an idiot? I wish that I could control their tactics. That's so mean. Why are there five billion traps around the exit? That shouldn't be possible. I hate it. If there are two things that this game should just not do ever, number one is just should never, ever, ever put traps in close proximity to the exit. Because I just... Oh, you are a fucker. Petrified. I am enraged, Agame. Of course you may. Oh, you fucker. Oh, game, will you fuck up with your bullshit? Why can he hit around a corner? Oh, you are... I wish I could control, like, the layout of my team's movements. Because that's so mean. That's just so unbelievably mean. This game is being mean to me. At least I had my Petrify Orb. But still. So completely and utterly cruel. I swaze. And one of my reviver seeds got nuked because of it. Because of a fucking asshole sniping me from around a corner like a, a little bitch. <laughs> Insult the game. The game insults you back with the monster house. Well, it's not my fault that it's bad design to... Okay. What the fuck even was that? Why did I take all my damage back? Is that like an ability? What the fuck? 
If that if that was an ability, I I I take very much umbrage with. I take umbrage with it very much. Yes, please. And it also took away the ominous music, so now we have to listen to the biggledy boggledy. Well, that's very mean. Oh. Why did the earthquake bounce you back like that? Why are you a weirdo? Oh, camera up, you're gonna be a bitch. Why does it keep being bounced back? Why is it happening? Everything's going crazy in here. Uh, counter bashed IQ skill. Yeah. It just feels weird. An orange gummy for you, my boy. So that when we get out of here, we can get crunk. Also, monster houses are double damning in this because I can't control Cresselia's AI. So Cresselia would probably run headfirst into danger. I hate that these assholes just come up out of nowhere from the shadows and my allies turn around like, oh, we're gonna fight that. No, don't fight it and keep moving. Keep breathing deeply. Don't get lightheaded. No. 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 This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Why the fuck would you do that game and be like, ah, motherfuckers through walls? I still think enemies shouldn't be able to attack through walls. Ghost, sure, should be able to, like, do it, like, sure. I do think that, like, ghosts should be able to fly through walls, but I do not think that they should be able to attack through walls, because it's a little too stupid when they always, they always fucking do it through Goddamn, like, they always attack in tunnels. Why do you have multi-hit moves? Oh, you fucker! System reset. Why the fuck would you do that, you asshole game? It's so fucking annoying. Her to her, multi-hit move! Oh, you know how we nerfed it for you? Well, this guy, he's gonna do a ton of damage. So utterly stupid. <laughs> Drinks all around after the fight of Darkrai, if we live. But yeah, it's like, you throw a motherfucking asshole through the wall at me, and then throw a motherfucker- I'm just gonna spam my multi-hit move! What fun! Maybe if- maybe if seeds had a 100% hit rate, I would actually have tried to throw in a seed. It's a very annoying game. You throw bullshit like Monster House, then you throw multi-hit room move, then you hit me with the multi-hit multi-hit move, and then you throw ghosts at me through the walls, you fucking bastard. It's just so frustrating when they just decide, and now this character- and also it doesn't help that the ally partner just randomly decides to not use moves randomly. Like, sure, partner. Don't use moves, that would be bad. Sure, partner. Don't use moves. 
against this asshole who's using moves. I just think that, like, if the enemy is using moves, my partner should also be using moves. I get, like, ooh, the weirdness of the AI, but come on, man. Just something. Throw me a bone. That Chimchar came back with a vengeance. It also didn't help that it's just like, it always happens in the fucking tunnels. What the fuck? Fucking why? Quit spamming moves, asshole. Why were you hiding in the goddamn corner once again? Fucking the damn tunnels. Why did you fucking get like a crit or something, you asshole? Oh, it can't be used. Fuck off. This game's being an asshole again. I don't like things that r remove my ability to play the game. I was like, and now you're not going to be able to move use that move. Why? Because fuck you. Oh, hey, a black gummy. Now I can get crunk when we get out of here. As long as the game doesn't throw more asshole bullshit at me. Why is this a big-ass room? Well, that's very mean. I think this is the floor around about the floor area that we died last time. <laughs> it's just that we didn't have to go through a monster house to get here, so it went faster. Reviver seed? Nope, I dropped. <laughs> it was similar to my own moveset as well, says <laughs> chat. Yeah, I'm not going to get there in time unless I... Help you a little bit. Don't do that attack. Well, I guess it was running away. Bitch. I'm going to attack your escortee, who is for some reason an asshole who will turn around and try to fight when they really shouldn't. It is frustrating. That is also frustrating, because we need to be careful not to leave you behind. Another gummy. We're gonna have so many gummies. I guess they're like, well, we're gonna throw the uh, the player into like the deep darkness. Let's give them just a place to just uh, absolutely grind on gummies. Why do enemies use good moves? <laughs> it's just like, come on. I understand it to a degree, but I only have so much health and so many seeds. So when they're just like, I'm going to two-shot you, and because you can't see, you're going to walk into me and not be able to plan anything. Frustration. Also frustration. Like, I hate, I hate that Cresselia doesn't have just like a normal AI that I can use. I'm going to turn around and do things. Why? Why would you do that? Just stick with us. Because again, I can't see the enemy that are coming behind us. So it's just very frustrating. I don't even know what's happening that I'm just not taking any damage from these guys. And of course, spinny spin, because the world's an asshole. Let's get out of here. Yeah, because I think that is one kind of bit of a issue. That's a very rude game. I shall nom on this.
Why do you keep using move? And you make me cringe too. Stop. Why do you get to use so many fucking moves in a row, dude? Oh, you fucking bastard of a game. Fuck off. <laughs> I hate it. Game can't beat me legitimately, so it has to... Sure, keep using mirror move, I guess. Please die. <laughs> Guess I can wait here to heal a little bit. I do not desire weapons or items. I just desire exit. Do you have a healthy set of stairs that I can walk on? <coughs> All right, I'll take... Yeah, sure. I'll take guaranteed damage on multiple... <laughs> What if they, like, uh, did an infinite thing of, like, ooh, took damage for, took damage for, took damage for, and just kept going back and forth until they just had a heart attack and died? What is Last Resort, and why does it keep missing? I feel like it's Destiny Bond again. Or something. Something tells me I'm thankful for the ability to heal 50 HP in one move. I have Orin Berries alone. Ba -ba -da -ba. I hate those guys. They come out of the darkness, hit me with a powerful move. Please don't go after the enemy. Thank you, Cresselia. Whenever I'm damaged now, I have to tap my movement. So that I can maybe see an enemy coming and actually uh, prepare. That's a very mean game. That's double mean. Why does that have to be an AoE move? I'm the only... Will you fucking stop, game? I am full of pain. Because they keep throwing annoying enemies at me. I'm just waiting for, like, the Ms. Magius to come back and eat me. I saw a Combuskin wander in the halls. You gotta go slow. Out of fear. Hello, bastard. I guess Blazing Kick is more fire move than fighting move. Interesting. I don't know. What happened? The game is being mean and throwing a bunch of mean enemies at me. And of course, we're in the darkness, so I can't properly see enemies coming. So I have to play everything very, very carefully. Oh, another black gummy! Yay! I'll be able to get double crunk when we get back. I need to be very careful. One motherfucker is all it'll take to annihilate me with... with Because that's the thing with, like, Mystery Dungeon. You're like, oh, I've beaten this guy multiple times, and then they just whip out a move that none of the others have used against you. And it's pain. Oh, hey, bastard. Double bastard, how dare you. Need to be careful so they don't walk on that. Extra mean to use <laughs> seal away my main move. <laughs> By <laughs> the darkness. Why does Cresselia have to manually breathe? It's less manually breathing and more consciously breathing as like a as a technique. It's just 
manually taking in a deep breath to prepare yourself. And of course, it's like the one fucking way I didn't go that's not interconnected by anywhere else so it can continue my goddamn misery. Alright, I could have sworn that like a Blaziken popped in there that would have should have come to fight us, but... Silas, please get to the front of the fucking glass. I'll throw a rock at you. Your fancy move don't do that, does it? I hate that you can do protect multiple times. I know it increases the chance to fail, but Jesus. It's kind of mean. Kind of mean game. Survivor seed, please. Nope, Doom Seed. An orange berry, since it's on the ground, we'll go ahead and give it to Silas. Uh, mix elixir, not max elixir. Hello, Charizard. <laughs> that, out of all the things you decide to do, you did like the least the least thing you possibly could. Literally. Yeah, let's not bother him. Cresselia decided to almost go in a very bad way. I don't know, man. She's done it every floor. <laughs> it's because as we get to the next floor, she has to prepare herself as we go on to the next dangers. Actually, game, I have paws, not feet. Get it right. Please be a reviver. It's a quick seed, damn it. Bastard. Why are there so many doom seeds? Well, that's not very nice at all. Get rocked, idiot. And luckily, I think that since Charizard was there, he pushed his ally to go this way. Hello, oh, Magus, we're gonna run away. Dark Crater Pit. Well, that's some nice animation and utterly horrific. Ah! Boss fight time? It's a dead end. This appears to be the deepest we can go, but where's Darkrai? You've kept me waiting. Darkrai! Good of you to come, Silas and Neon. Why do you keep coming after us? You don't even know us! I know you all too well. You especially, Neon. W what? When you came to this world with Grovile, Neon, you were caught up. In an accident. Accident? Oh, that's right. Grovile once explained it. We had an accident traveling back in time. All the way back at the opening. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, are you okay? No! Don't let go! Just a little longer. Come on! Hang on! N no! I can't! Hold on! They, they like using wah. Yes, you and Grovile had an accident while traveling through time. You became separated as a result of it. You were also transformed from a human into a Pokemon. And you lost your memory as well. One thing that I noticed, though, that has yet to be addressed by the post-game... We haven't used our dimensional scream in forever. Hm. Has it not occurred to you how odd that accident was? How 
odd? Yes. Think of how the accident occurred. Precisely when you and Grovile were traveling through time. That fails to strike you as odd. D Darkrai. Darkrai, you know something about it, don't you? Naturally. That very accident was caused by none other than myself. B what What did you say? My wish is to engulf this world in darkness. I set my sights on Dialga's temporal tower because of its tie to time. I sabotaged temporal tower that would eventually lead to the destruction of time and ultimately the planet's paralysis. However, Grovile and Neon decided to meddle. I learned of their impending arrival from the future, and I attacked Grovile and Neon as they traveled in time, so that I would be rid of them. But an unforeseen event made it impossible to be rid of either of them. It should have been enough especially for Grovile. However, do you know how you came to be a Pokemon, Neon? Jirachi! Jirachi! During the accident, you shielded Grovile from my attack. I shielded Grovile? Is that why Grovile was so intent on, like, shielding us back? Yes. You absorbed the brunt of the attack I had intended for Grovile. It appears your fierce will to protect your partner became entangled with the many dimensions during your time travel. Many dimensions? As a result, you were transformed into a Pokemon. And Cresselia's just not saying anything. I... I did that? I assumed what I did was sufficient. I thought I'd rendered you incapable of preventing the planet's paralysis. However, I underestimated your resourcefulness. You met with Silas, and the two of you stopped the destruction of Temporal Tower. Because I'd underestimated and discarded, disregarded how much you would meddle. My original plan ended in failure. That's why. That's why you decided to get rid of Neon and Silas first this time. So you... They wouldn't be an impin... Uh, my brain is not wording good today. So they wouldn't be an impediment to your scheming. That's why you tried to break their spirit. Even going as so far as to use an imposter of me. Even now, you lured us here. So you could be rid of us all in one fell swoop. Very good. I did indeed intend to do just what you say. But I've had a change of heart. What? I don't trust you, you bitch. You spiky collared whore. So, Neon, Silas, both of you are brave. You've shown great initiative to be rid of you forever. Seems like a tragic waste. You've both shown so much promise. Why not join me? Why would we do that? We don't want to be part of the darkness. What? Why not join me in ruling a world full of darkness? What? R rule the world? With Darkrai? It is entirely possible if we three band together. Well, will you join me? Oh, Neon Silas, don't believe his lies. Silas, are you listening? Maybe Darkrai is right. What do you mean, Silas? What do you mean he's right? No, Silas, who are we kidding? We don't stand a chance against Darkrai anyway. It's pointless to resist. Joining Darkrai 
may be the best thing to do. Silas! Why? Silas, don't gay, get get game? No, you bitch, don't do this to me! <laughs> you chose wisely, Silas. Very practical of you. Now, Neon, what will you do when you are one of us? Our first order of business will be Cresselia there. The three of us shall get rid of her. Together. But what did you say? Now, Neon, come join us here. Don't go. Neon! Please, come here, Neon. Silas! If you won't join us, Neon, Darkrai surely won't just... won't want just me. He'll get rid of me. Oh, this is... This is emotional and manipulation! Silas. <laughs> Your choice, Neon. Will you join us? The world of darkness is going to be wonderful, Neon. What is going on? Is this a nightmare? Why is Silas out of character here? You see? Your trusted partner has seen the truth. Come. Will you not rule the world with us? And you shall reign as a lord in the world of darkness. Now, Neon, consider your answer carefully. Join me in Silas. We'll rule together. I took down so many things in this world. Dialga, Palkia, I'll take you down too. Do that. I refuse. This is all, this is all, this is all a nightmare. Gah! Oh, Neon. Oh, Neon. You. Gah! I was right. I was being deceived. Darkrai was showing me an illusion. That was close. Blast it. I was on the verge of success. Is that your answer, Neon? Of course. Silas would never consider even saying something like that. Join with Darkrai. Not on my life. A world of darkness. I won't let it happen. of you now. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Wah! We're surrounded! I knew it. I figured that you would do something like this. Say what you will. This is where I finally will be rid of you meddlers. I will seize control of the darkened world as its king. This is it! Attack! Oh, that's- oh, his ice is glowing! That's not good. Ironically, a world of darkness would be helpful to a dark type. Actually, that's kind of fitting. Agility! 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 And, uh, let's see. Please get stunned. Get blasted! So all in all, this is actually going pretty well. Silas is getting his ass handed to him. I'm gonna throw rocks at you. Alright, Silas. Go after foes.
Oh, actually. Now sleep seed! And Orin Berry for Silas. Your minions were actually quite weak there, Darkrai. Oh, of course he has, like, Intimidate. Of course he does. Ow, very rude. Sleep seat, please. Thank you. Haha, <laughs> take that, idiot. I didn't even use a reviver seat on you. We did it. He's still there and breathing. This is the end for you, Dark Rye. Caracelia, don't you remember? I said you cannot catch me. He's going to the future? Hey, what is that? It's a dimensional hole. <laughs> this dimensional hole may take me to the future or the past. Even I don't know where it will lead me. But I failed only in this time. I will simply plunge the world into darkness in another time. Stop! Darkrai! You're not getting away! Ugh! Too bad for you. I can slip away through time with just one step. You cannot catch me. Oh. Goodbye to you. Ugh! <laughs> well, how do you like that? Finally, in the end, it ends in my ultimate victory. I won't allow that! What? Yes, come on, seal that dimensional hole! Your... Palkia! You will pay a grave price for expanding the distortion of space, Darkrai! This is a strike for justice! Take this! Are you... What? Ah! There is no escape! Gah! Did you just fucking murder him? Dimensional hole! The dimensional hole completely shattered. While Darkrai still inside of it. I heard Darkrai scream. Did Darkrai disappear forever? No, that has not happened. He has suffered grievous damage and been banished to some unknown place. But wherever he may be, he lives. When he recovers from injury, won't Darkrai go back to his wicked ways? That remains to be seen. Because when Darkrai entered the dimensional hole, he began to time travel. At that precise moment, he was struck with Palkia's attack. Remember what Darkrai said about Neon's arrival from the future? Darkrai attacked during time travel, so Neon got hit with amnesia. So just like Neon, it's likely that Darkrai has lost his memory as well. Is it gonna turn out that, like, Darkrai is Silas this entire time? And, like, he got sent into the past, got conked out with amnesia, and, like, changed form as well? Darkrai lost his memory? Yes, Darkrai will likely never recover his memory, and he will wander lost through the world. Darkrai. Or did he become like, uh, did he become ba ba ba? My brain, uh, Dust Noir, maybe. We are done with him. He will not likely expand the distortion of space again. I will return to Spatial Rift. I pursue no reason to ever return here. Farewell. He just like, fuck this eyeball out. <laughs> I like that it just zoomed off screen. Well, that is it. Shall we also go back? Yes! Let's go home, Neon. Back to Treasure Town. The fact that I did 532 damage to an outlaw beedrill with just flamethrower was hilarious. You burned him alive! And that's how our fight with against Darkrai ended.
When we returned to Treasure Town, we were thrilled by how excited everyone was at our return. We had fully fool we, we had been fully fooled by Darkrai. So I thought that neither Neon nor I had a place in this world. But when everyone surrounded us and was glad to see us back, that's when I finally thought, it's wonderful to be alive. Oh, and it's playing. <sighs> the music box. It's playing like, like that credits memory remind, like memories version of Don't Ever Forget back when Silas was remembering memories of all the time we spent together. Little Azuril woke up from his nightmare. I'm so glad that everyone was well. I remember what Wigglytuff said. Every Pokemon in the world exists for a reason. Even the ones that mean harm to others. Even that Darkrai. After all this, my adventures with Neon will continue. We'll see many things. And we'll make new discoveries. We've gone back to Luminous Springs since then, though we still can't evolve there. However, we can exist here. We can live here. And that alone is something that we should be happy and grateful about. That's what I finally learned. Yes, Neon. Thank you for always being with me. Let's keep on exploring. May our friendship last forever. It almost sounded like you proposed to me there. That sounds like another ending point, but I could have sworn that there was at least one more major post-game thing. The next morning. Yeah, Silas, I'm suffering severe wounds. Five seconds later, let's go home. I'm all good, basically. Good morning, Neon. Let's make it another great day. Da da da. <laughs> Next stream Wednesday? Probably. Let me just quickly check. Because that did feel like the like an ending, but it could be. Let's just see. Ba 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 ba. There is a post story six and a post story seven. Let's see. So there's two more things to do. Well, let's organize everything. Our inventory stuff. Oh, Cresselia's still here. We'll quickly organize everything, talk to Cresselia and stuff. Yo, you two sure showed them! We can go on like this without being scared again! You get my thanks for that. You saved Azura. You made the world peaceful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Neon and Silas. I knew you could do it, Neon and Silas. You two have true courage. I knew it way back when, when you caught me as an outlaw. I'm going to leave soon. I'm going to travel. It was awkward when we met at Mount Travail. Next time, I'd like to meet you with a smile and open arms. I'm going to explore all over again today. Good for you, Sunflora. <laughs> good night. And good night to you as well. We're just going to finish up everything. Talk to everyone. Talk to Chrysalia. And uh, see what we're going to do next time then. Get a, get a little hint. The marvel and darkness has melted away. It is your doing. You have my thanks. There's not two appraisers here. I'll pay, like, for four of them. So to reveal in these boxes were Cinder Claw, Recycle, x and Combust Claw. But yes, as we walk around... Next time, it will be a Wednesday stream at 5 p.m. Well, aren't you impressive? My dears, I love the both of you as if you were my own children. And that's why you are Mama Kangaskhan. You are amazing. But yeah, next time, it will be a Wednesday stream at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Soul. Let's just hope that that's like the worst of it. That we're kind of free for now. Let's talk to everybody, everybody. Ah, yes, I've heard. You've defeated Darkrai. That's the Neon and Silas I revere. So fantastic. Do you have any Reviver Seeds I can buy? One Reviver Seed, thank you. 
Why are you storing grimy food? Because then I can trade it in at the recycle shop at some point. Ah, the returning heroes of Team Lost Light. I thank you sincerely for stopping the spreading nightmare. All right, you two are heroes! It'll get peaceful in Treasure Town, too. Thanks for that! You've got my thanks for saving the world. Thanks so much! Your team is so cool. Your team has done it, Neon. You're beyond belief. Thank you so much. Good morning, you all. Here's to another good day of exploring. My partner was terrified of me, and I didn't know it. As a leader, I must be a failure. I am ashamed that I doubted my leader even a little, but I'm glad I had the guts to. You helped me be brave, Neon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Neon and Silas. This gives me the peace of mind to run the bank properly. I missed a black gummy. Oh, was he selling a black gummy? More black gummy for me so I can become super intelligent. In fact, we'll buy that other red gummy too so that Silas can get a little bit more crunk since I that makes like three black gummies, I think. We can have celebratory get crunk fest. I guess we'll talk. You arrived just our time earlier. Strange Pokemon appeared and gave me this. I'll take it and read it later. Sky Melodica, Sky Stairway. Scareways? <laughs> the Scareway to Heaven. I decided to team up with Heracross and explore all over the world. Whoa, I'm ready to explore the whole world with Zigzagoon. Good for them. I like that, like, little background NPCs like that have arcs to them. It's sweet. And stir it all around, and it's done! My IQ went up significantly! And I got defense. Another black gummy for me. Just so we can get him out of the way. That's right! Shake that gummy! Shake it and give it to me! So I can become God! Even though I've... It's been so long since I got an intelligence up, man. It's been so long. A get crunk time for everybody. Oh, I've got a good feeling about this drink. It would be hilarious if he leveled up his IQ again before I did. And since I took two, you get two. But yeah, that, that whole arc of Darkrai, honestly, a fantastic, like, post-game. Utterly fantastic. Probably, I would even say, the best post-game I've played in a game. Because it still tied in to, like, the main story, answering questions that you didn't really think about past, like, the beginning. And it just was super good. And it just, like, had such great emotional moments, too, is what also made it fantastic. Just utterly brilliant. Great emotional writing. And just, like, because the best thing is, even though you, on some level, you know that you're being screwed with, like, no, this can't possibly be actually true, but it makes just enough of an argument to make you think. It was super dark. Yeah, it was. This is... This drink is so wonderful, so amazing that I couldn't have made it if I tried. It's so incredible that it is a miracle. Arceus just gives you the super duper amazing god powers. Defense went up by two points. Let's go to the beach and see if there's anybody there. You know, I haven't seen Doug Trio in forever. Come to think of it. Uh, no bottles, no nothing. What do you gotta say? Oh, I see. Darkrai was shattered along with the dimensional hole. He has likely lost his memory and been banished to some unknown place. 
That could be a very good thing. For the world, certainly. But maybe for Darkrai, too. Well, that is over. Peace has returned. And it's your team's doing, Neon. Thank you very much. <laughs> I thought we were playing Explorers of Sky, too. Like, seriously. While they would have had to, like, expand on things and add more things, that could have been, like, the core to the story of, like, a full-on sequel. We're out of your league. You KO Darkrai. You two are something else. Hey, hey, let's have another fun day of exploring. Hey, hey. Thank you, Team Lost Light. So everything was tied together. It was one vast conspiracy by Darkrai. It was quite astounding. Another great accomplishment for Team Lost Light. Hello there. And you have nothing to say, sadness. Ba -da -da -da, da -da, da -da -da. I'm glad to see your team back safely, Neon. Hey, it's you two! Came to visit your old friends at the guild. What? You want to pull some sentry duty? No, I do not. I just came here to talk to people. Ah, oh, you two. I do hope you work hard. Ah, oh, he doesn't have anything. Also, I must thank you for putting a stop to Darkrai's wicked scheme. What rank are we now? Considering we've mostly been doing story stuff for the longest time, I'm only diamond rank. You two are fantastic. You saved the world not just once, but twice. I think you're going to become an even more incredible exploration team, equal to even the legendary Team Raider. Keep up your exploring. Of course, do you finally have shit for me, Krogunk? I saved the world twice, twice, you owe me. Fuck. All he has is like an emit ring, which we have a, I guess we'll get another violet of a baby baby. Because we can, just in case that like, because I don't think we have an extra vi valiant rock, so why not? We already have an extra emit ring. We'll go snoop at the diaries of the characters to see what the most recent thing is. You know, it'd be cool if, like, during the epilogue, there was, like, a new team that joined in our place. Yippee! Oh my gosh, little Azuril! Little Azuril is woken from his nightmare! Oh, this is so wonderful! Yippee! Cresselia must be thanked properly for this. We also owe Cresselia for telling us how everything bad that happened came to be, even the destruction of time. We were shocked to learn that it was all doing the doing of one Pokemon, the one called Darkrai. Neon and Silas are on their way to confront Darkrai. Good luck, Neon and Silas. Please win and come back safe. Go for it, Team Lost Light! I do wish that... It that diary entry kind of went into the, like, I don't know, like, I hate Darkrai for making Neon and Silas think that way. Team Lost Light has gone off to a place called the Dark Crater. Oh, Neon and Silas, you have to be tough by golly. I've never been much in understanding anything complicated, but but I know that Neon and Silas can beat that Darkrai. And by golly, I know they'll come back like they've always done. My thoughts go with them, by gosh. They will. They're coming back. Sure as the sun's coming up. Considering that the sun didn't come up for a long time in the future, or like, that was a possibility. Ha 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 ha. Danger zone. Well, uh, that's talking to everybody. We'll go talk to Cresselia since she's there. After saving in our bed, of course. Well, let's see. How many... Apples do we have? A lot of apples. Some Reviver Seeds, but that's all the Reviver Seeds that we have. Please don't throw us into another Nightmare Realm, Cresselia. I didn't even get to... S oh, uh, for a moment I thought we were just getting thrown into a cutscene. But no, I just hit the bounding box of the screen transition tile. Thanks to you, Neon and Silas. That dark rye was stopped from carrying out his wicked scheme. My job here is done. Sincerely, thank you. Cresselia, what about you? What are your plans now? I've pondered many possibilities. May I join Team Lost Light? What? Cresselia and our exploration team? If I'm not a burden, I very much hope that you would accept me on your team. Will you have me? You must be joking. You're the last Pokemon I consider a burden. 
Yeah, honestly, she wasn't that bad during the escorting part of things. So yeah, we're honored to have you. Right, Neon? Except Cresselia? Yes. A new member. Now nah, she can stay as Chris. Yeah, she can stay as Cresselia. Thank you very much. Oh, you bet, Cresselia. Thank you for joining us. Cresselia, join the team! And now we'll go and double save. Ba ba. Ba ba ba. But, I guess that might be it for now. I don't know exactly of what we'll do next time. Because, ba ba ba. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, we already done ex Post Story 6, so Post Story 7 is all that remains. Wait a minute. All right. Hmm. I named Cresselia Croissant when I played because she made me cross with her. <laughs> Went a little bit uh, melly from Legend of Arceus, didn't you? But it seems that this next post story is very simple and very quick. Because it just says, yeah, talk to Cresselia, do a job, and go on to the third day. All right, then we'll quickly do a job then. But this also means that this will be like the end of all the story stuff. There are like the special missions that I might do a bonus stream about. But... I do believe that this will probably be it then. Since it's a very short thing, it doesn't... Like, I feel like we should finish it off all here. Hmm. Let's go check the bounty boards and stuff. We'll do a job, move on to the next day. Because <laughs> I was going to end things there, but then I read the little guide that I have just as a little thing, and then I noticed that one section was very short, and realized that they broke up the Darkrai segment into two post-games segments. In that little diddly D. Let's see. In the Brine Cave, huh? Well, go do a Brine Cave quickly. Is there any enemies that we need to beat up in Brine Cave? No Brine Caves. So we'll go do quickly Brine Cave and see that little bit. And since we're just doing it quickly, we'll keep Cresselia with us. Uh, quickly save here, just in case things go bad. Never know when the random glitch will happen and be like, Ah, you were walking upstairs, bitch. Well, apparently there was one in Brian Cave. But now I'm too lazy to go back. So we're just gonna do this one. But this has been a fantastic journey. An utterly fantastic journey. I could have done... Oh, 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 I thought Cresselia was just with us, but I guess not. We'll quickly... Because eh. her name showed up as, like, uh, yellow. But I guess that was just acknowledging that she was part of the team there. Well, yeah, this is just a fantastic game. Well, that's very mean. And I can't believe that I took two Doom Seeds to the face and now Silas is higher level than me. Can't believe the game would do this to me. I don't care about that box. Also, uh, tactics. No more running after enemies. That almost got you smacked up good, baby. Now going, getting killed. Yeah, she went on the roster. It's just that with the yellow name, I thought that meant that it was uh, they added her directly into the party immediately. But nope, just to the roster.
Well, yeah, we'll do this quick mission and hope that it procs the next little post-game thing, because it shouldn't be anything major, but it should <laughs> apparently proc the true end. Which is why we're not ending the stream. I, I'm very happy that I glanced at that, uh, that guide just to double-check things, because I thought there was going to be, like, one more mini-story thing with some dungeon crawling. And then... Up. And again, that one is very short, and I don't even think involves a dungeon. So I wonder what's gonna happen. Let's see. Uh, Reviver Seed? Nope, just Pure Seed. Ah, Pure Seed's pretty nice to have. And we have the Violence Seed, yes. Well, how nice. <laughs> Our target? Don't go down a hallway. Oh, that's mean. You could fly away, Weezing. And we'll just escape with you. Oh, dang it. I would like to leave. Yes. Thank you for rescuing Weezing. Please accept this 4,500. We put in a full day today. I'm exhausted. We should get some sleep now. We can be rested up for another good day tomorrow. I do also find it interesting that, like, ba ba ba. That Silas is still barred from evolving. Who knows, maybe if we go there, we could actually evolve him. Because I could have sworn that you could evolve your partner Pokemon. <laughs> and everyone's still saying the same thing. Let's check the shops. Make sure I have a decent amount of money. Uh, a Vanish Seed, interesting. But nothing that I care to buy. We'll just glance around, see if there's anything out of the ordinary. We'll quickly check Spendas. Doesn't seem to Ah, perfect timing. Let's look for what's gone, could you please? Uh, ba ba Mount Travail, 600. Search for Star After. I need help. She must be somewhere. Please find her. Yeah, sure, I'll do this. That's I'll, I'll take that on, and we'll do it sometime, maybe. Then again, this is supposedly the end, if the postgame did proc. Well, let's see. <laughs> maybe the true end is finding Doug Trio on the beach. Because he did just disappear. Nope, maybe I need to do another day. Because it did say the third day, so... That's entirely possible. That's still bibbidi bob And we can do a uh, sentry duty to quickly go through it. Unless it's meant to be activated in here, maybe? Uh, hey, hey, let's have another fun day. You have anything for me that's actually good, you bastard? Cryptic scarf is like... Again, I don't see any of the things that are good for me! Are you just holding out on me, you bastard? Ah, you too! I do hope you'll continue work. The guild appreciates the funding. Also, I must thank you. Ah, so that's just his new normal. I like that. You're fantastic. You said the world, but twice. I think you're gonna become even more. All right, doesn't seem like anything changed. We'll quickly check the boards to see if there's any jobs that I want to take into the next days, even though there's not much point to it. Hmm. I don't even think I have... I don't think I've found a Blast Seed in a million years. You want to fucking... There's a motherfucker that ran into the Dark Crater. The Dark Crater. Are you nuts? But we'll quickly do uh, sentry duty to see if that'll proc the next day. Because I guess that it did say the third day. Let's do it. It's been a bit. Alright, you only get two wrong. Let's go. Blastoise, Lucario, Blaziken, Rhyhorn. I think Rhyhorn. The footprint is Rhyhorns. The footprint is Rhyhorns. Where'd you come in, customer? Yep, looks like you're right. Here comes a Pokemon. Check out his footprint. Tell me what it is. Blastoise, maybe. Luxray, no. Beldum. I, have, hmm. I assume Blastoise. It has a shell. The footprint is Blastoise's. 
Heard ya, come in, customer. Looks like you're right. Here comes a Pokemon. Check its footprint and tell me what it is. Pinsir, Trico? Trico. The footprint is Trico's. Heard ya, come in, customer. Yep, that looks like you're right. Here comes a Pokemon. Check its footprint. Tell me what it is. Delkitty, Prinplup, Turtwig, Ninetales, I assume Prinplup? The footprint is Prinplup's. Also, Ninetales coming off the mountain, ready to curse bitches with its tails. Yep, looks like you're right. Here comes a Pokemon. Charmeleon, Cyndaquil, Chimchar, Crocna, Cyndaquil. The footprint is Cyndaquil's. Heard ya. Come in, cuz visitor. Yep, looks like you're right. Here comes a Pokemon. Pikachu, Sheldon, Glammeow, Tortwig. The footprint is Tortwig's. Heard ya. Come in, customer. Yep, looks like you're right. No more visitors. No more visitors. Okay, got that. Hey, Silas and Neon. That's all for today. Now get back here. I still like that they can do that on command now. You've worked an honest day. Let me review your sentry duty performance. Your results work well, well, perfect. Ba-ba-da. Ah, yes, this is impressive. You've beaten the previous high score. I am a god. Excellent. We did it. Your effort will certainly be rewarded. The reward will be special too. You two deserve an especially generous selection of rewards. Received four hundred dollars. Addition a pack of scarf. And not only that, a reviver seat. I like that. I like that. But not only that, received a max elixir. Not bad. The reviver seed is what's very good. Hiya. I put in a full day today. I'm exhausted. We should get some sleep now. We can be rested up for another good day tomorrow. I mostly am continuing because the next bit is so tiny. There's like nothing, there, there's no point. <laughs> ah. Good morning, Neon. Let's make it another great day. Because the thing is, it's such a short thing and I don't think there's much else that I really want to do in this game. Like, sure, going after the treasures is like a thing to do, but I really play this game for the story. The story is why I really, really, really play this game. And this final segment is it. I'll quickly check Spinda's Cafe. Nah. And again. Where is Dugtrio, though? He just disappeared. Okay. Hmm. Maybe on the... Maybe it meant... Because it did say the third day, so maybe we need to do one more day? If, because uh, it did say on the third day, recruit Cresselia, then on the third day. So we'll do another diddly dee. What you're trying to do to activate, apparently, the final piece of post game. I thought there were two more pieces, but instead the little guide that I have, just to make sure that I'm not, like, like, uh, super duper, like, if I got, uh, bu -bu super stuck, I have a little guide open to, like, subtly guide me. And it broke up the Darkrai arc into two pieces. And the next, like, apparently final post-game piece after we beat Darkrai is very short, doesn't have anything to do with any dungeons, and it's just a thing that needs to activate. So we're going to quickly do this and hopefully... Because it said, recruit Cresselia, then on the third day, a thing will happen. So I'm trying to activate it. Galates, Edot, Dudua, War Turtle. I don't know. Give me a hint. Has uh, fur ears and tail. Yeah, kind of odd for a turtle, but yes. I hope it doesn't mean that I actually have to do like jobs. Empoleon, Duduo, Sand Slash, Hootoot. Definitely Hootoot. Maybe I had to do a job, maybe. But it did just say on the third day, so. If nothing happens this time, we'll do another job. I'm doing nice and quick. It would be kind of mean if it's, like, that finicky, but oh well. Uh, Pidgey, Grottle, Sing, Smutkip, Pidgey. A Charmander, Shinx, Ninjask, Smutkip, Ninjask? I've never seen its footprint before. That is very odd. And, uh... It's there. Oh. How large its fangs are compared to its body. 
It's a bite Pokemon. If you threw so many at me, it's just like, was it Poochiana or Feraligator? They both have fangs. Also, Poochiana doesn't really have much of a, like, compared to its body thing. Yeah, we'll quickly speed through this. 300, Defense Scarf, Reviver Seed, always like that, and Heal Seed. Just speed through that. And if it is demanding that we do a job, then we shall go do a job quickly. Quickly glance around town. Because I do... Because I forget. Because I think something similar did happen before one of the post-game things. One of the other ones it took to activate. Just nobody else. No movement. No change. Nobody new. As always, check Spindos Cafe. Nobody new. Check the beach. For bottles and stuff and differences. <laughs> I'm getting final stream uh, vibes. The stream might last seven hours. Nah, because it's only just activating this one final thing. And then that will basically be the end of it. <laughs> this won't be Ace Attorney again. Okay, let's find an easy one to do. We're not doing Mount Bristle, though. Wait, Tiny Meadow. Save my child and find Grass Gummy. We'll take these and do these then, I guess. After checking with Diddly Day. Wait, did you do the, uh... Did you check the final maze in the dojo? I never actually did the jojo. But no, it's not that, I don't think. Because it said specifically... Uh, the little guide I'm following said, Recruit Cresselia. Then, on the third day, a thing will happen. <laughs> Zero Isle, let's go! No, never. But oddly enough, I never did the dojo. Much like I didn't really do the dojo much in... Well, actually, no. I actually did a lot of the dojo in the rescue game. Rescue team. But that's only because like that dojo gave rewards out, I think, for Ginsings. Well, off to Tiny Meadow. I, wait. I don't think we need... <laughs> I just realized... Tiny Meadow might be a scary dungeon. Because it's out there. Well, it's an E-rank. Don't scare me, game. Don't... Caution. Cannot undertake unless the team includes a certain Pokemon. Huh. Weird. Okay. Save my child. That's interesting. Oh, wait, did it say a thing there? Restrictions with Driftblum. Oh, interesting. All right, well, we'll take this tiny meadow. For a moment, there's like, oh, no, it was the devil's <laughs> dungeon after all. But tiny meadow... Heal seed. We just need to find the child. It feels like we're beating up babies in here. We just need to get to, like, the fourth floor. Die. Very interesting. Maybe this is one of those dungeons that I found... Oh, destination floor. I thought we had one more to go. Maybe this is one of those special dungeons I found by drinking a bunch of gummy juice. And that's why it's like this, because it's a specialty thing. Now let's go and exit two. Dang it, I keep doing that. Now, now I wonder if there's a Twitch Plays Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, I assume.
Just goes to show Team Lost Light isn't afraid to do simple jobs either. And if it still doesn't activate it, we'll do one more. Because it said on the third day, a thing will happen. And it'll be a small thing, story-wise. <laughs> it would take months. I doubt it. That would be mean of a game. You must play this game for all of your life before you get to do anything else. Just check all the places just in case anything happens. Nope. Let's do one more job. <laughs> oh no, for uh, Twitch Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Yeah, that, that, that one could take a long time. That one could probably take a long time. Because it's far more advanced than just normal Pokemon. Mount Bristle, which I could do you. Amp Plains on level 8. Save my child. We'll do that in Brine Cave if there's nothing here for us. Because again, said third day. We've done two missions, so hopefully this third mission will activate it. I highly doubt that it would be, she has to be on the active team. That would be stupid. It just said, the guide said, recruit Cresselia, and then on the third day, and I stopped reading because I didn't want to get spoiled. I highly doubt that it actually is have Cresselia in the party. It is a small thing, but... Again, it would be one thing if it was, like, it was worded differently in the little guide that I'm following. It specifically said, recruit Cresselia, then on the third day. You bastard. I'm not leaving my silver bow behind. Trip traps are just as evil. Like, what if there's a trip trap that you trip, like, into lava or something, and you lose the item? <laughs> a Pokemon trap was activated, but nothing happened. But nobody came. I remember back in Rescue Team, the Stamina Band was my favorite band. It was the ultimate thing for me. Hello, Krabby, you're gonna die. Krabby legs for dinner. Blast, hey, hey, a blast seed. It's been five billion years. Oh, that's mean game. So it just seems to be, hmm, that's weird. How dare they? And... Damn it. I have to do this one again. I should have saved. Luckily it's on the third floor. This game is being mean to me. Speed up, please. The game is just being very mean. I just want to get to the little, like, true ending that is very tiny. That is all that I desire. I suppose we'll bring, like, Cresselia with us next time, just in case. No, I don't want you on my team. I'm just here to find a child. Oh, hey, we found the child. You found... You're on the destination floor. No shit. I would like to leave. I would like to leave.
just speed up a little bit. We'll go grab... Well, once again, we'll check everything just to be safe. Check Spinda's bar. Nobody here. Check the beach. Go to guild. Grab things. Check Grogunk. Swap. Shop. Grab Cresselia. Do an easy job. And save this time. Because it just said recruit Cresselia and then on the third day. Although, it, uh, again, it is probable that it's just simply that we... I thought, like, oh, I'll pass the time by doing the sentry duty when that doesn't actually, like, go through days like you expect. Like, a lot of... Like, why? Why does, why does Silas get all of the options from the swap shop, but there's not been a single option for me all this time. I think, but no one came as unsettling sometimes. It definitely can be. I want to bring Cresselia along, because we can. Members. Come along, Cresselia. Join the team. And remember to save. Because when you don't, the world will come and eat you alive. Alright. Beach Cave, find the blue gummy on floor two. Be hilarious if we <laughs> go up to floor two and it hangs again. Just purely to spite me at Beach Fucking Cave. Well, that would have been nice to have in the dungeon. In the second floor. Oh, hey, it's right there. Let's return. Wasn't that an exciting mission, Cresselia? Aren't you excited that you joined our team? <laughs> I got a rock. This makes me wonder. How many of the, like, legendary Pokemon of this world, if we put it in the same world as Rescue Team, how many of the Pokemon are all, like, split up on, like, Rescue Team and Exploration Team now? Ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. Save and continue. Here it is. Hey, you two. Hey, you two. Ah, ah. What's the matter, Chadot? What's the hurry? Ah, at the beach. At the beach. What's the matter with the beach? Manaf Manaf the beach is back! Manaphy came back! What? Manaphy? You mean the Manaphy we looked after? That's him! That's the one! Hurry, to the beach! Yes! This is it. This is the one I want to do. Manaphy! Neon! Silas! Manaphy! You're really... that little Manaphy? Yep, yep! I grew big in the sea! It's all... it's all because of you and Neon and Silas! It's all because of you, Neon and Silas! Oh! You remembered us! Of course! I couldn't forget you! Not once! Not ever! I missed you! Oh, this is sweet. Wow, I remember this place. I hatched here, didn't I? Yes, you're right. This is where we came to know each other. I'm surprised you still remember that. We Manaphy have the ability to remember where we hatched, so I've been told. After we grow up in the sea, we go back to where we hatched by instinct. Mr. Whalerin taught me that. That's impressive. 
This is where I was hatched. That's why I felt the urge to come back here. Well then, now that you've returned, what will you do now, Manaphy? I was told that I have to decide that on my own. Well, um, so, uh, I thought really hard about this and other things. I'd like to return the favor, Neon and Silas. Don't you travel and explore all over the world? I really wish I could help you when you go out on your adventures, so, um, uh, may I please be a member of Team Lost Light? D don't worry, I'm grown up. I won't get sick like before. You don't want me? Uh, of course we want you to stay with us. Right, Neon? Of course. Of course. Really? Really, I can? <laughs> Yay, I did it! I'll do my best to make you proud, Neon. If you need me, please call me at the assembly. I'll come running. A new member joined. Give Manaphy a name. Manaphy is good enough. Yes. And that's it, I think. That is nice and sweet. Nice and sweet. I, I wish there was a bit more. A bit more, but I do believe... That is it. That is, honestly, a great kind of little epilogue. And let's see. Yep, post story seven, Manaphy's return. I'll tell you. Oh, wait, no. Let's see. Do a job and, uh, right? And, oh, great. There's more. Uh, the, guy, the guide lied to me. All right, we're swapping out Cresselia. Oh, hey, new people. Exploring is far too much effort. Maybe we'll go to the hot spring. But going to the hot spring from here takes too much effort. We've been away from Treasure Town for some time. I like it here. It's so laid back. Oh, my motivation's slipping already. Yeah, and that's it. Silas. Mr. Drowsy left to go travel a while ago. Yep, no, it doesn't seem like anything else, so we'll add uh, our dear beloved child to our team. And uh, do mission days. Until the next thing happens. Because things said was happening. Mount Bristle? No. I guess we'll go to Mystifying Forest. It's a one star, that should be easy. Sorry, Cresselia. <laughs> Our child came to, <laughs> to help us in the family business. Come along, Manaphy. And you're level 40. Good job, Manaphy. Health is a bit low, but... Things good. Still wish that it, like function, like the day shifting functioned by doing the sentry duty, but I guess that's a little too fast. They want you to play the game in earnest. We'll quickly check the beach. Would be cool if Manaphy was able to hang out at the beach if we have him recruited. Oh, hey! What? Oh, it's Team Raiders! I think it is. Rescue all the kids, sure. I'll take that on. I haven't been here for a long time. I wonder, is Wigglytuff as lively as ever? We found these fellows drowning in the surf, so we hauled them out. You've been drowning for days? We're Team Raider! We never fail at getting the treasures we set our eyes on. Honor to meet ya! <laughs> we thought we were a goner. While training here, the waves carried us off for months. For months?! We drifted on the waves, cut off from all contact. In all truth, that is really an exaggeration. We were merely splashed by waves at the shore. Oh. While we floundered, we were thankfully rescued by these kindly strangers. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, for months, Doug Trio? For fucking months? Alright. We will quickly... Because... The game said that just, uh, do days after recruiting Manaphy and another thing will happen. I thought it was just that, but no. There's another thing, apparently. God, good God, this is becoming Ace Attorney finale again. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, box. But now our son is here. Our son is here to help us. Honestly, I love that. I love that they actually brought mana feedback. It's just, it's sweet. It's very, very sweet. It's just a magnificent thing. I do wish there was a bit more pop and drama, maybe, to him coming back. But to have him come back at all is nice enough. Hello, Evie. Die. Double die. Yeah, just so sweet. Especially because Chadot came running to tell us. That's also sweet. There's just like the moment he's like, <gasps> Oh dear God! Manaphy's back! I have to I have to get to the team lost light! Their child is home! My brain's running at twenty percent now due to be at three AM. Jesus! But I wanna see this. I, it'll probably be a small thing at the end, but all I know is that the guide that I'm following... Okay, you can join, too. Uh, we can name you... You can be Fracture. Because you once were meant to be me, little Eevee. But uh, Zoro won the day. Hello there. We just need to get to floor seven, save a child, and then bibbity bobbity boo. Good job there, Manaphy. Your pedal dancing sucks. Now die. We are not recruiting you too. The only reason that Eevee got recruited is because I'm partial to the evolution line. Because more than likely... Well, that's very mean. How dare you? Let me play game. I'm just trying to get through to the next floor. Flatter. You leave my husband alone. He basically proposed to me this stream. Now prepare to die, you floozy. All right, this is where the Then lady we reached the destination floor. And fracture leveled up. Good timing, I leveled up. Good job for you. Would you like to Ah, oh, you're gonna die, aren't you? No, I don't want to recruit you either. But perhaps this was a mistake. I didn't know that Eevees have the runaway if get hit too much nature, I guess. have to find... Oh, dang it. Also another reason why I dislike maneuvering long teams. Stuff like that happens. Granted, it happened once when it was just me and Silas, so it's just the AI being weird. Of course, that's just a long cycle of nothing. We're here to save somebody, I'm fairly certain. Where the fuck are they? No, seriously, where the fuck are they? It is, it is, yes. Oh, it's because I didn't go to the right here. I missed... Well, that's very mean. You bastard.
There you are, Sphiel, you little fuck. Now get out of here. You almost cost our new recruit their life. And very good, Manaphy. You survived very well, too. We're gonna have to make sure to unrecruit, well, not unrecruit, but like take Fracture off active duty. We put in a full day today. Would be neat if Manaphy actually slept in the in Sharpedo Bluff with us. Damn it. That would have been the one thing to tie this up into super perfection. Because it did say go on to the third day again. Which is a little much if you ask me. But also interesting that Team Raider was actually showed up. Where oh where, I can't wait to find out where. Alright, we'll go up to the boards, put Fracture on standby, just do a quickie quickie one. Because we should just have to do one more. Where's just a simple early floor one? Hmm. And really, the easiest one will probably be that one. It's Apple Wood, super early on, so not much to worry about. Hello, Chimico. Put on standby. So that he doesn't get in the way. I'm doing this even though I'm like 90% certain it'll be a very quick thing, because. I was just glancing at the guide again, and it's just like, <laughs> recruit Cresselia, and then do thing. thing. On third day, thing will happen, and then I stop reading. Then, is once again, after recruit Manaphy, on third day, thing will happen. Hello to Apple Woods, Manaphy. This is where our greatest shame happened. And we got our asses handed to us by the evil team, uh, Team Skull. Man, we haven't seen them in, like, months in universe. Maybe even years. I do not know the timeline of events that have happened. Hey, a reviver seed. Neat. Wait, it's interesting. The last we saw of... You're an asshole. Alright, that's it. Agility. Agility. We are coming to kill you. Sniping me from five million years away. Also, Manaphy's health is 69. Nice. But yeah, I, find, I kind of like the idea that Silas and Neon are just showing Manaphy around the various mystery dungeons they've done in the past. It's like, and this is where this happened. The moment I rest my head on this pillow, I'm gonna be out cold. There's always the VOD. There's always the VOD. But this definitely shouldn't be as long as Ace Attorney, because I'm fairly certain that the game just said, or like the guide just said, after recruiting Manaphy, on the third day, a thing will happen. And I don't think it'll be that big of a thing. It'll at least be a new thing. Hopefully. Another Reviver Seed. Why is this place giving me all the Reviver stuff? But the late game dungeons didn't. Note to self, if I ever play this game from start to finish again, Apple Woods is the god place. 
<laughs> my slack off heals 69 <laughs> H point, HP. That's hilarious. Why can he hit him through the wall with that sweet scent? That's very annoying. That's still very annoying. Stop that. I said stop that. You die now. You motherfucker. And poison powder. You bitch. And now you're dead. Oh, you, 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 you paralyze us. You poison me. And you ask to join my team? No. I send you to the executioner's block. Imagine if this was like serious. We're in a, su a serious dungeon. And I'm just like dying in front of my child. From poison. I don't believe this. Oh no, was it eight? It was eight. Why is a palm tree doing in the frickin' forest? Like, I know he's a plant, but... Still. He's like a horseshoe crab in a freshwater environment. That's not what I want. Die. Now this should be destination floor. Destination floor. But yeah, I just, I utterly adore that they brought Manaphy back for the epilogue. It's kind of interesting that it's the final epilogue that they decided to bring him back for. Like, literally. We went and saved an ancient scissor. We went and... Just, like, done a million things. I hope that wasn't the guy that we're meant to be saving that was flying through. Oh, nope, it was you. Aerial Ace. Ah, it's a TM. We can have swap out the grimy food. Hello, Nose Pass. Let's get out of here. And now we fly away! No problem at all. Put in a full day today. We should get some sleep now. They can be rested for another good day tomorrow. Again, I just wish that Manaphy was sleeping in the Sharpedo Bluff with us. Let's make it another great day. Please let this be the third day that activates the thing. I, for some reason, my brain is saying that's not what happened. Once again, talk to our child. What's the dungeon? Steam cave, sixth floor, S rank. I'm not escorting you. Quickly check the beach, maybe? Another, another thing in a bottle. Why are all the bottles appearing now? Mystery jungle floor seven... I guess I'll take it and then I'll just burn it because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I ain't. <laughs> Here's hoping that the guild has something simple. Let me quickly go to the guide again. Let's see. Do a job, go on to the third day, and then head to the beach and reunite with recruit. Uh, do a job, go on to the third day, then Manaphy will something. So yeah, it's like... The guide could probably- I probably could have found a better guide that was more specific. They're all fucking Bottomless sea. No. Explore with Kabuto. Hmm. I think we can- Oh, I have a full job list. Let's see. 
get rid of you. Because I can manage keeping a Kabuto alive in Tiny Forest. Job list. Or Tiny Meadow. It's Tiny Something. Make a save state just in case the game is evil. And off we go. And this should lead us on past the third day to activate thing. Leave the child alone. need to get him to the third floor, I think. Then I'll be happy. Well, that's just mean. Well, this is Tiny Meadows. So I was going to handle himself. God damn it, of course, it's poison. Die. I find it funny that it's playing kind of intense dungeon music in its Tiny Meadow. No, I do not want you on my team. Come on. Be gone. Come on, game. Let me up here. Thank you. And that's all he desired. He wanted to see the third floor of Tiny Meadows. Because he's a weirdo. Quickly power through. Good morning. Let's make it another great day. Ah, here it is. Oh, Neon Silas. Good morning. Are you awake? Huh? Who could that be? It is our child. Hi, Neon and Silas. Good morning. Hey, it's Manaphy. Good morning. What brings you back here so early in the morning? Well, um, I was on my daily morning travels, and I found a really great place. A really great place? Yep, yep, it was crystal clear water and a white sand beach. It's got plenty of totally yummy gummies. And the place is nick uh, named the Marine Resort. It's a Pokemon Paradise. The Marine Resort? A Pokemon Paradise? I couldn't wait to tell you and Neon right away. So I cut my daily trip short and came straight here to tell you. I'll show you where it is. Can you open your map for me? Let's go play there together sometime. Of course. Okay, bye. We're definitely going there right now. Because, why not? We could use a vacation. It would be hilarious if we actually got a special... Oh! What's this? Oh, Neon and Silas. Sa hey, what's going on over here? We went to Luminous Spring recently. Look. You know how you can't really tell us apart now? Well, because of that, I'd like to evolve again. So we went back to Luminous Spring to see. Uh, how many times do I have to tell her that we can evolve past this form? Oh! <laughs> and Teddy Urso <laughs> was a girl. But she just doesn't listen to me no matter how many times I tell her. So we had no choice but to go there and prove it. Of course, we can't evolve. So that's what I've been saying all along. But... But... Something about the place feels different from the last time we went. Different? Yeah, the atmosphere is different, like a fog has been lifted or something. I can't really explain it, but it's like it's a different luminous spring than before. I felt that too. Just looking at it, nothing's changed, but there's something different. And I just remembered something. You, you tried to evolve there before, didn't you, but couldn't? If I recall correctly, it was said you couldn't evolve for some reason, but since there's something seems to be different about Luminous Spring, maybe whatever was blocking you is gone. That is, I think you might be able to evolve now if you want. Really? We can evolve now? Well, I don't really know if you can. I'm just saying that I think it might be possible now, but it would be worth giving it a shot. So if you want to evolve, then head back over to Luminous Spring and see. We just wanted to let you know. See you. Interesting. <gasps> Can Neon and Silas evolve now? 
I'm not sure if I can evolve, but maybe... Silas can. Well, that's interesting. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Quickly check, all the same. We'll quickly save, and then we'll head over to the Paradise Resort, and then maybe Luminous Spring. But I kind of do like that they spread it around. Let's see. Marine Resort. Let's go. Just because we can. Will it be like Shaman Village? Or will it be a full dungeon? It's a full dungeon. Oh. I probably should have managed my inventory. I am but a fool. Be amusing if this place is just like gummy heaven for grinding. Oh, there's a... You're an asshole. Oh, I'm out of my rocks. Damn it. It's playing very chill music. We'll check out possibility of evolution. Huh. I probably should have brought an escape orb. I don't know how many floors this place is. Definitely should have managed my inventory better. I thought everything was gonna be simple, Billy. I thought it was just gonna be nice and quick. Yep, the music does that in some of these dungeons where every floor it changes in the post game sometimes. How dare you dizzy punch me, Spinda. Go back to the cafe. Maybe I should have made Manaphy the leader. So we could fly over all these things. Die. We had to come here. Manaphy asked specifically. And when Manaphy asks specifically, we have to give him what he wants. He came back for us, after all. With how simple this dungeon is, I bet it's not super long. But then we'll go see if we can, like, evolve Silas stuff. Unless it's like, uh... Hopefully it's not like the spring from the last game so we can go as a full team and see like who is evolving, select them from a menu. We might reach the five hour mark. Hopefully not, but maybe. I would have liked it if this was actually a resort that we could like explore and like talk to shopkeeps like a mini Kind of like, again, like Shaman Village. Again, I wonder why it plays this, like, chill music sometimes, but swaps to others. How dare you try to steal my signature art style. You will die. <laughs> why, Ray Specs? You're a funny game. Hello, monster. Die. A glittery box. Guess I'll swap this gravel rock out, because we can. Also, I like that this place is nice and bright. We don't suffer the vision impairment like we do sometimes. 
He's just a nice thing. Granted, if it was a beach with a bad view. But again, why is this place called Resort? Are these just the patrons of a resort that we're beating up? Maybe not. Yeah, that's the thing with, like, evolution. I might need a specific item for Silas. But uh, I'll never know unless I, like, go check it out. <laughs> unless it's, like, a friendship band or something. We'll have to wait and see. This is a very interesting place, because, like, I thought that there would be maybe a bit more to it, since Manaphy specifically, like, came and told us, but I don't know. Do you have a friendship band? I don't think so, but I don't think that for... Silas, it feels like it should be just levels. But maybe it could be friendship band. I mean, we already went through all this stuff. All these, like, dangerous adventures. Again, Silas basically proposed to us. After the main bit of story was done. He should be friendly enough already. You shouldn't need a friendship band to know that we are in love. Meanwhile, for me, I have no idea if I even can evolve. We'll have to wait and see. Well, luckily you didn't have anything equipped, Manaphy, so didn't lose anything there. Hello, Krogunk. This is for not giving me my uh, freaking items. I use your swap shop all the time, yet I don't find anything for me. It's only Rialu, Lucario. Kind of mean to force people to go through your shop to get around the dungeon, Kecleon. I think that's anti-competitive. Anti-consumer. I swear if this dungeon turns out to be like a 100 floor dungeon, I'm going to be angry. Really, I'm holding out for hoping that, like, something cool happens if we get Manaphy to the end of the Marine Resort. That's really what I'm hoping for at this rate. Because this just seems to be a normal dungeon. Hello, Blossom. Fuck off and die. My fucking bow. Why do trip traps even exist? Another reason why I dislike having three members. Traps like that are annoying to navigate. Again, without, like, the trap avoider... IQ skill. Traps are just annoying to deal with. Will you just fuck off, you fucking pelican? I'm gonna follow you to the ends of the earth. And now you're gonna die in the earth. Become the food that feeds the earth. Da 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 da. What dungeon song is this? I think it's from... I think it's from Rescue Team. No, I don't want you on my team. Be gone. 
Yeah, we went the right way. Good job, murder. That was very rude. Prepare to be murdered. Beach Cave, the very first dungeon of the game. Ah. It's like, I know, it's like, this feels like a very old song to me. A, a very old song to my ears. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this because I can. I probably should have looked up how many floors this dungeon had. I don't think it can be that crazy, but you never know. Again, could very well be like a 100 floor dungeon just to be like, hey, let's let's do something funny. Let's make this a marine resort a fucking nightmare. Now, if you want to, I wouldn't mind. I could see it maybe just being 20, but I don't know. Okay, sure, hidden stairs. And all in my inventory is just overflowing with bullshit. I really don't care about the TMs that much. So we'll take them. Next floor. Ah, that's good. I, once we were getting along, I was like, we're probably just gonna be a, a 20 floor. Probably. But this is a good thing for Manaphy to see. The awesomeness of exploring and treasure hunting. With his, with his sket... Ah, so it really is just... It's just really this. I have a ton of orange berries. The next people that come by, they're like, Oh boy, I can't wait to get all the treasure of this resort! Just see a bunch of orange berries. What the fuck? I guess Max Elixir's getting left behind, because I have a ton of them too. Kind of wish there was something with... Manaphy at the end. But oh well. I'll go open up all my boxes, manage my inventory, and then I guess we'll go see if Silas can evolve or not. If not, oh well. Kind of interesting that they decided to have that just be a thing that you could do. It was like, hey, take Manaphy to this resort. Thought it would be a bit more. Let me quickly check the guide to see what it says. Yep, it just... Manaphy will tell you about marine resorts where you can go to. The end. Kinda wish that there was a bit more of a bombastic, emotional end. Or, or, or I guess just that, or at least that. Oh hey, Lucario Fang, did that say? And a shit ton of gummies. Which, hey... Nice. Well, I think we can just go to Luminous Spring and not have to go through a dungeon, at least. So, Luminous Spring. We should just be able to walk in there. A voice emanates. You who seek awakening, this is Luminous Spring. Do you seek a new evolution? Info. Such a favorite spot. Evolution brings about changes. Only those in the room. However, the requirements for evolution differ among Pokemon. Some come by leveling up. Some others may need special items. You must also be aware of this. Once it has evolved, Pokemon can never gain its previous form. That is why you must think carefully before committing to evolution. Evolve. Which Pokemon? Oh. Wait. What? Where? Alright, let me quickly go see, I guess. Is 
because there's no more uh, post-game content. Well, I do believe that this is it. I do, 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 do believe that this should be it. Because all of the post-game like stuff that I super cared about was like all the story stuff and that seems to be it. Uh, for uh, Silas, his evolution is 100 IQ plus Sun Ribbon. He probably has the IQ, but we don't have a Sun Ribbon. Uh, summary. Oh, that's just it. Save state, quickly. Let's see, can I evolve? You shall evolve into Zoroark. Ooh. Ah, sure, let's evolve into Zoroark. I can do it. You who seek awakening, let it begin. Neon is undergoing change. Huzzah! You shall return if evolution is what you seek. Interesting. A little odd. But, I kind of miss being a Zora. If only we could have evolved together. <laughs> but, either way, I do believe that that is the end of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Mostly because there isn't really anything else to do. It's mostly due to the fact that the only things left to do are just gameplay things to do. Like the, oh hey, find the mystical clarinet of Fire Mountain or something. Which doesn't really <laughs> appeal to me too much. Zork, one of my favorite Pokemon. Zork are really good. Just kind of disappointed that we didn't have a Sun Ribbon and IQ stuff for Silas to also evolve with us. Kind of weird to have it be relegated by the Sun Ribbon, but oh well. But yeah. With post-game, the main post-game that I cared about was the main story stuff. Going to Shimon Village, saving Scizor from Blizzard Isle. Going and finding Manaphy's egg, raising him, having to having the heartbreak of him going away. And then the whole Darkrai... Oh, yeah, because the team got disbanded. That's kind of funny. You evolved now. Team disbanded. But... Yeah, th this game is fantastic. Utterly fantastic. Then again, I don't even know if we have, like... A full team. Or, like, a, a full IQ enough to... Evolve him anyway. That might take lots of grinding. Which is kind of disappointing. But oh well. Yeah. And we'll just hang out here. But yeah. This is honestly probably one of my favorite games. Probably my favorite game. Purely from a story perspective. The gameplay isn't my favorite out of games that I've played. But the story the world, the characters, the music, the emotions make this game utterly grand. Again, I do wish that the epilogues, or like the post-game, had a proper epilogue. Then again, I think that's kind of what uh, Ent uh, Into the Dark Future, the special episode 5, was kind of meant to be but I kind of wish that there was a secondary credits moment. Like, somehow they bring Manaphy in, and just, like, like th that would be one thing. Bring Manaphy in, and have an extended sequence of Silas telling Manaphy the story of everything. And, like, have going down memory lane with... Zoro and Neon, and building up to just, yes, the adventure continues, but also credits to let you know all the post-game story done. That's the one thing that I would have done differently. 
to give the post-game a bit more finality and grandeur. But that's nitpicking. Because the main story of this game is wonderful. I personally think that, like, Scizor and, uh, like... Scizor, Shyman Village, and even Team Charm's contributions are kind of... Eh, they're there, they're decent. But Manaphy and Darkrai are great. Absolutely fantastic post-game story stuff. And is what I live for in this kind of game. It hit with great emotion... And it hit hard. Like, again, Darkrai is pretty much a special episode unto itself hidden in the post-game. And I love that. It continues the main story to a degree. It explains things to a degree. And, like, yeah, I don't think that there's anything else to do. Because if there's more to do, that'd be great. But it's just... Ba -ba -ba. Okay, because it just says, this guide at least, post-game. It doesn't seem there's anything story-related after Manaphy's return. Again, unless this uh, guide is incomplete, maybe. Mm -hmm. But it seems to have, like, all the important stuff. It's basic. But yeah. Just to quickly go over my thoughts again, the story is just amazing. I do find it interesting how the partner differs from Rescue Team. In Rescue Team, the partner is very basic, still likable, but not as much personality. There's not much like that can sup superly be gleaned from analyzing the Rescue Team partner. And so the story is very much more focused on the player character, the human. Whereas in this game, the partner character is basically the main character. And you're just playing as the main character's dearest friend. Which is very, very cool. It's just very cool. The arc that the player, like the partner character goes through and just like everything is so much better in explorers the quality of life the traps aren't real as annoying there are still a few annoying late game stuff like uh, earth power is annoying some of the traps are annoying multi-hit moves can be annoying but they're only here or there here or there and then of course monster houses that hit me only because i keep spawning in them for some reason yeah But, again, the characters in the story. I do think that there should have been a few more bits and pieces. <laughs> Good night, Neon. I've just been putting the streams together in playlists. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining me tonight. It was very... Because, yeah, I didn't expect to reach the end end. But at the same time, I thought there was a bit more post-game. Because I thought Darkrai was going to be one thing. I thought there was going to be one more thing. And then I thought there was going to be a small thing, which turned out to be Manaphy. But no, the guide broke up Darkrai into two. But. Yeah, this is the end of Explorers of Sky. Again, there's other things to do, other dungeons to do. The go get the musical instruments for the Federation or whatever. But those don't really interest me. Much like the go fight the legendary Pokemon to get them to join you don't really interest me. I like story arcs. And it just doesn't seem like there's anything else. I mean, there could be, but I highly doubt it. I'll quickly do a Google while I ramble. But... Yeah, this game, the story is just a great. The story is great. The presentation, just, just everything. Everything is supremely, supremely good. Like, 
the characters were done so well, like Grovile and everything, and yep, this seems to be the end. I usually call a game finished after being handling the post game. Yep. For me, I consider a game beat at credits, and I personally don't put much stock into doing the meandering task. When it comes to story, I like the story. I might do, like, extra bonus things if it's a, a, like, helps me do the story with more fun things. Like in the Spider-Man game for PS4, I did a bunch of... I did all the, I did all the stuff I, because it was simple and the side stuff wasn't intrusive. Or if it's Pokemon, get every Pokemon and level 100. I am not that dedicated. I am not a Pokedex person. For me, it is go do as much story, beat the league, catch the legendaries, basic stuff. But, yeah, just, I love this game. The music, the presentation, I like Wigglytuff's guild. It adds a lot of personality and side characters. I adore, like, the twists and turns. The fact that it's a time travel plot and they actually dive into the consequences of time travel. Like, at first, you're just playing the game, you think, oh, this is a kid's game, they they might not do too much with, like, oh, the consequences, and then they just go hard on the consequences. But, like, the main thing that I enjoy about this game is the story and the emotions. And the music definitely helps with the emotions. Like, I really, really enjoy the music of Rescue Team, primarily Fugitives, and anything that uses Fugitives Runaway as a motif. And, like, the goodbye music and the credits music, those are all wonderful. But I love the Time Gear motif that is used repeatedly throughout this game. I haven't, uh, I haven't even uh, done the Shield Pokedex since I can't get Sword Dog. Eh. They like the Time Gear motif is just amazing. It's in Time Gear. It's in the song that plays when you head to the Hidden Lands. It plays in Hands of Fate, Dialga's fight to the finish, and then there's the motifs of Don't Forget that leads into all the songs that play during the initial credits. <laughs> I literally didn't expect low tier God Cresselia. Granted, it's low tier God. Uh, Dark Rai pretending to be Cresselia, but it's still... That's just, that's just dark stuff to cover in a Pokemon game. And it's front and center. Sure, it's kind of, ooh, smudged a bit with euphemism, disappear, right? eliminate, but they had the main characters of this game contemplate suicide to save the world. And it is honestly just heartrending. And I do like that they went in a different direction with like the heartrendingness of the post game compared to like the main story. Like with Manaphy, it's almost a mundane heartbreak. A child that they can't fully like take care of and they have to say goodbye to. And then with Darkrai, it is a more dark and insidious heartbreak that like tears at your soul. Basically the lives of the many over the few thing, yeah. It also, cause again, they even have Silas, the partner Pokemon bring up that the main character was willing to die to save the world. But then of course they push you in a different direction by having the main character point out, they didn't die to save the world. They saved the world even if it meant they died. And I like that. I like that they kind of talked about it, kind of philosophized about it. And I do again love that it tied into the main story and that Silas reminisced about talking with Grovile. And I love that Grovile is kind of the reason why Silas and Zoro and Neon's wills were able to hold on because of his words and his convictions. 
The Pearl Towers music really felt amazing for me when I first played this game. The music is just so good in this game. Oh yeah, and like, the special episodes. I really adore the special episodes. Self-contained little environments are just so good. Like, Bidoof's Wish is fine. Today's Oh My Gosh is fine. And Team Charm, Here Come Team's Charm is fine. But Iglybuff the Prodigy and Into the Dark Future are great. I personally kind of wish that I saved Into the Dark Future Special Episode 5 as the finale of this game because, again, it would be nice to just have like a credits to talk over and an in screen to do, but I was too hyped up playing the special episode. <laughs> Still, that low tier god thing, I'm surprised the game's age rating didn't go higher. It's probably due to the fact that the age rating companies don't actually play these games, on top of the fact that it is oblique references to it rather than directly mentioning it. So. It's not, like, done in a super-duper serious way. So children might not fully grasp it. But it could also be a Kirby uh, Return to Dreamland Zero Two situation where they're like, oh yeah, there's a giant boss guy where his eye rips out of his body and there's blood everywhere and he shoots you with blood. <laughs> And they just didn't mention it to the ESRB. And then years later, when they wanted to re-release it digitally, the age rating got bumped up. But who knows? That was more extreme because it's visuals. This one is story beats. Who knows? But again, to touch on the story a bit more, I do like how they handled Dusk Noir and Grovile. It's like, that whole twist is really good. The fact that they only lightly hinted at Dusk Noir being a bad guy, and how you get dragged into the future, you see everything. Like, the pacing of the main story is great. The pacing of the main story is great. The characters of the main story are great. Literally, my only, like, supreme issue with the story is that there weren't more stuff about it. Like, I would have loved if there was more slice-of-life scenes at the guild. I would have loved if there was more conversation stuff between characters. <coughs> I would have loved if there was just more character time. But I guess that's what fanfic and fan comics are for, in a way. But yeah, just like, this is amazing. The characters are amazing. The story is amazing. The music is amazing. <laughs> Once again, it kind of comes down to the gameplay is the only thing that I can't super praise. Because, like, for me, the Mystery Dungeon gameplay isn't a gameplay that I would seek out on its own. It is gameplay that exists for me for being a vehicle to push the story along. <coughs> oh, by the way, Neon, have you seen the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon yeah, anime specials yet? I have not. I might try to plan a day to like, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, the episodes, the, the anime specials. Because... What I might do is I might uh, record my reaction to them and then eventually someday edit them together to make my reaction to the anime specials. And it'll actually be in like an edited thing. It won't just be like, oh, put an overlay over the anime and then stay silent and talk sometimes. I'm going to pause. I'm going to analyze. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to review that shit is what I would do. But that's definitely something that I need to do at some day. But, 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 but. I, I don't want to talk in circles too much, but I just, I love this game. Wigglytuff is a fun guild master, and I like that they did that. He is a loving, heartfelt, eccentric guild master, and I like that. Chadot, I honestly like Chadot. 
He's kind of the businessy bastard to a degree, but he has a good heart. And you can rely on him when it comes down to brass tacks. And I like that. Even if it does kind of, even if he does have to kind of be the scapegoat of, oh, by the way, the reason you don't get the full payment of uh, pokey money is because of him, but oh well. But, yeah, again, one of the only things I can say is, like, I wish that there was more time with the guild. Like, just being around. Like, again, in today's Oh My Gosh, they implied that, like, oh, we're gonna hang out together and tell scary stories. I want to see that. I want to experience that. I'm, uh, I, I might even write it myself. Now my brain is going, novelize Explorers of Sky. Uh, yeah, but that's kind of a right and tropey fanfic thing to already do. We've entered the age of original Pokemon Mystery Dungeon stuff, but like, these characters, this world is so good. It's so good. Then again, I could just do like a series of one-shots that are like, explore the things that are different or expand it. Eh, that's a thought for a for fun thing. But again, the music, utterly fantastic. Like the time travel stuff, the dark world, Primal Dialga. Masterful. Wonderful. And again, how they handled the final stretch of the story is honestly some of the best video game I have ever played. Dusk Noir ambushes you, you fight him off, and still, like, Grovile has to sacrifice himself knowing that he is going to vanish one way or another and also leaving the main character with the burden of knowing that they are going to disappear if they save the world and that they are also going to leave their dearest friend heartbroken by it. And the execution of that scene, of the main character vanishing and the partner saying... I like I, just like the 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 wh the writing in that scene is good. I do think that the the partner Pokemon repeats the character's name a bit too much in that scene, but the other writing around it is so good. How the player character says, "No, you need to be strong. You need to live." How the partner Pokemon says, "I know. Y to me, you are more important than anything." And how the player character responds, I feel the same way. It's just, it's so, so good. Honestly, I hate the pain of that idea. It's just like, it's, it's emotional catharsis for me. It's like, I want a game that can make me invested and then hurt me. I want a good emotional story. And I think that's why I adore the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. Because with Rescue Team, it was simple. It was simple story, simple stuff, but still impactful. Like how the villagers run you out and try to kill you. And how your partner is still there with you the entire way. And like the goodbye scene in Rescue Team and everything. The main emotional core of Rescue Team is really good. Even if all the other stuff around it is simple. And then Explorers. Explorers took that emotional core and then expanded it and everything around it. The characters around the main story, the side characters, the main characters, and, like, the overall story. Because, funnily enough, if you think about it, Rescue Team is kind of simple. <laughs> In terms of story, it's mostly go-here-do-thing plot. You go do things, go do things, and it isn't. A, and then there's the Fugitive Arc, and then finding out why the world is going to hell and then you go stop the world from going to hell. Rescue Team is very simple, but very fun. And then Explorers. Explorers, Explorers, literally, just like a single storyline. There are small things like the Perfect Apple incident, Team Skull getting in the way, but then they weave like the guild stuff into the main story, like the expedition that uncovers the time gear. 
I don't think I'd say anything to anyone if I had to come to terms of disappearing. Yeah, that's exactly why I think the main character of the game didn't mention it to the partner character, the partner Pokemon. Because they didn't want to burden them while they were already going to be fighting for their lives, fighting for the world. And also, I just don't think they could have brought themselves to tell it. I can't wait for Super Mystery Dungeon. Uh, although you'll probably go for Gates to Infinity first. Yep, I'm going to play Gates to Infinity next. Maybe not directly next. I might play Pokemon Platinum in between. Just cause. Just as a, as, as a thing to do. But the next Mystery Dungeon game we play will be Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. Because I want to experience that one for myself. Because from what I hear, the gameplay is the main thing that kind of bugged people. Maybe, I think I heard, has a bit less story and a bit less post-game than Explorers. But I hear that the emotional core of Gates to Infinity is pretty good. Huh. Okay, lads, what's the start of a Platinum? Are we voting? I don't think I do voting. It'll mostly be look at it myself because I kind of forget. And, uh, I'll... Then again, I'll, I might just go with my childhood starter of Piplup. <laughs> I like Piplup. Penguin Man! Also kind of ties in. One of my core memories of playing games was uh, Don't Star Earth Together. And I just went up to an edge of water. A bunch of penguins jumped out. And just not knowing what to say, I just said, I'm king of the penguins! Just losing my mind like that. But anecdote. But is there anything else to say? I guess I'll quickly talk about, like... Oh, yeah. One other thing that I wish for the story is I kind of wish that we saw more of, like, Silas's journey alone. Like, after he gets back to Treasure Town. I wish that we saw other people's reactions to Grovile is gone, Neon is gone. I would like to have seen that. And then I would have liked to see the guild's reaction to Neon returning, the town's reaction to Neon's returning, just more moments like that. Again, might just make a series of one-shots being like, this is how I wanted it to go. Because, like, that scene in the post-game where the guild finds out that Darkrai was trying to gaslight Silas and me into killing ourselves and that we considered it. And Wigglytuff just stands up and says, you are worth living. Just is great. I could have I could have gone for a bit more expanded on it. Everybody from the guild saying something, but for how it was paced, great scene. Yeah, it's like... There's a lot of, like, middling content in this game. Kind of average content. Again, like Bidoof's Wish, which I do still enjoy. Kind of difficulty spike there. Today's Oh My Gosh was fun. And again, here comes Team Charm. It was a fun time. But Iglybuff the Prodigy, Into the Darkness of the Future, the Manaphy plotline and the Darkrai plotline, are just amazing additional content that blows the other content out of the water. Because you can definitely tell where the, like, passion was. Shaman Village, Silas said nothing there. Saving Scizor, Silas didn't really say anything. Even when getting up to Manaphy's egg, Silas didn't really say anything about, like, oh, this place lost for 10,000 years, mystical treasure... Like, I'm disappointed that Silas didn't say anything. I wish there was more interaction between the partner and hero characters in the post-game in-between things. Like, I, I would be very much down for more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games just having the main character actually talk. Then again, this could just be me from reading a bunch of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fan fiction. <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm used to the main character of Mystery Dungeon now talking, but I just think that would be cool. I just think it would be neat. But yeah, this game is amazing. 
It made me cry on multiple occasions. It made me teary-eyed on multiple occasions. I don't think I got teary-eyed while playing the Dark Rye plotline and seeing Manaphy's Return, because with Manaphy's Return, it was almost like, yeah, Manaphy's back! And with the Dark Rye plotline, it was just horrifying, crushing darkness. Just like, holy shit, horror kind of feeling. Nothing really... Well, I think actually I did get a little teary-eyed voicing Silas at some points there. Because it was very emotional. Not the same kind of emotions that got me teary-eyed back with, like, the Grovile sacrifice scene. Or the Neon disappearing scene. Or, like, basically everything following the ne Neon disappearing scene. Or the finale to Into the Darkness of the Future after defeating Primal Dialga. <laughs> One thing that always sticks with me is that despite everything, it's still you line when you look in a mirror for in Undertale. <laughs> That'd be funny if this game had that line. It's just like, surprise, it was an Explorers of Sky reference this entire time. Undertale was a great game. I don't think I got teary-eyed at Undertale. It could have been that... By the time that I streamed Undertale, I had a lot of it spoiled for me because bleh. Did you know that I saw Undertale pop up on Steam, like, before any Let's Plays had been made? And I was like, huh, ah, that's interesting. If I just made one different decision, I could have Let's Played Undertale at its peak. Yeah, but I didn't because I'm a fool. But, yeah, I'm going to say it. Explorers of Sky is my favorite video game. Which is kind of funny, because the gameplay is one of my just like, eh, meh, least favorite aspects of it. Which is hilarious to me. It's all the character, the story, the music. You could probably put a Mystery Dungeon game in many different kinds of gameplay styles. And I would love them. Like, again, I would be super down for a 3D hack-and-slash kind of beat-em-up mystery dungeon game. A hack-and-slash beat-em-up dungeon crawler if it had the same kind of story and characters. Because it's amazing. I, w I think I will even say that the main story of Explorers of Sky is damn near perfect. The only thing really missing from the main story of Explorers of Sky is more social slice of life stuff and the guild reacting to important plot beats when the time is appropriate. I just like the line because it feels even though you get older, it's still you. Yeah, even after everything you've been through, you survived and you're still you. And in a way, I, that kind of fits this as well. Even though, like, time went crazy, we lost our memory, we changed from human to Pokemon, we died, we came back, we got gaslit, gate-kept, girl-bossed by Darkrai. It's still us. We're still here. We're alive. And that... That's good. It's great, even. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky is an utterly, utterly fantastic game. And I honestly don't know if there's going to be another game that tops it. Because there's just something about... Because, like, with Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, again, because technically Mystery Dungeon is kind of a genre series franchise that other games have partaken in, and the Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is just, like, the Pokemon spin-off version that's in that. <laughs> it's not an actual Pokemon-centric series, but I, again, I, I, I adore Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Because it does the thing that I kind of always wanted Pokemon to do. Focus on the Pokemon. Sure, you're still a human-turned Pokemon, but 
you are now a Pokemon. Your partner is a Pokemon who talks as they a character in their own right. The world is filled with Pokemon characters. And the story is just fun. It's fun, it's heartfelt, it's earnest, and sometimes even heartbreaking. And I love that. The fact that it's like this, this franchise that I adore, Pokemon, and it's my favorite part of that franchise, with an emotional story and great characters, music, and writing, it's just great. This is amazing. So it's just like, I dearly hope that, because this is being streamed on the 12th of February, before any Pokemon Day stream, like, direct from Nintendo happens. I hope that we get an announcement for, for Mystery Dungeon. Or at least something, because next year is going to be Pokemon Mystery Dungeon's 20th anniversary. And I really hope they do something special for that. Because this... This is amazing to me. This is great. This is my favorite Pokemon game. And again, probably my favorite game. In general. Because there's lots to do. There's lots of character... They, the only thing that would probably stop me from like even just doing normal dungeon runs leveling up, leveling up my, like, exploration rank, going through all these dungeons, is the lack of story and character. I know that it would be kind of difficult to, like, plan a long, sprawling kind of slice of life. So, like, actually, you know what? If this game just had, like, a series of random events that happened, like, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 random events that can happen in Treasure Town after you come back from doing a mission or you wake up in the morning and it's just character interaction. It's the Azu, uh, it's Meryl and Azuril going and talking to the Kekleon bros. It's the guild members saying, hey, come t t tell scary stories with us. And then you show just like stuff like that. Stuff like that would be great. <laughs> well, technically February 13th in the UK. Time zones. I can't believe we time traveled here. But I do feel kind of blessed that out of all the Pokemon spin-off games, Mystery Dungeon has gotten the most, I think. Like, um, there's so many fan favorite Pokemon spin-off games. People adore Pokemon Snap. It took over like a decade or two for a new Pokemon Snap to be made. Pokemon Stadium, people adored, but the last one that was kind of like that was on the Wii. Pokemon Pinball, people really loved, but that hasn't been seen in decades. A, a prototype apparently was made to try and feel out the idea for a DS pinball, Pokemon pinball game, but that never got anywhere. A Pokemon the trading card game had, like, one game made that I don't think ever came to America. There was that, like, tactics RPG Pokemon game that was like a crossover with a historical tactics RPG Japanese <laughs> historical war game, I think. Where the main character has an Eevee. I might need to play that sometime. Pokemon Rangers. Only two were made, I think. Meanwhile, Mystery Dungeon had Rescue Team. Explorers. Gates to Infinity. Super Mystery Dungeon. And technically, if you look at it from a certain perspective, a full-blown remake in Rescue Team DX. Technically, we have had five generations of Mystery Dungeon games. When so many other Pokemon spin-offs tend to die at two. Colosseum and then uh, Gales of Darkness. As well as like fan favorites that just don't go anywhere. And Mystery Dungeon has been going along for so long. And that brings a smile to my face. 
I hope dearly that Mystery Dungeon continues to get a few games every few years. Like, I really hope that we get a new Mystery Dungeon game for the Switch. Or maybe, maybe as a launch title for Switch 2 next year? For the 20th anniversary of Mystery Dungeon? Or hell, maybe... Depends on how you go, because I think people are wondering, is Switch 2 coming out this year or next year? Or are they just going to push it off more? Nobody knows. If Switch 2 comes out this year, in like, se not September, November, I could maybe see the 20th anniversary celebration game of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon being released in November alongside it. I don't know. Could be anything. Neon, at this rate, we may hit the six-hour mark. I'm just enjoying blabbering about a game I love. But I will wrap it up. But yes, the story, utterly amazing. The characters, utterly amazing. And also the fact that they, this time, we actually know where our human came from, more or less. Because we know that... Da, da, da. Because we know that we were a human in the future, and then... <laughs> Because of Darkrai, we became a Pokemon, which is mildly hilarious. But it also is kind of interesting as well that that continues the theme of allies taking hits for allies. Chadot taking a hit for Wigglytuff and then us. Grovile taking a hit for us kind of because we took a hit for him before the story even started. Like, <laughs> Dust Noir saving Grovile at the last minute and pushing him out of the way of the ice block. I don't know if there will ever be a game that really tops Explorers for me. There might be other stories that have maybe more engaging plots, maybe more interesting characters, but Explorers as a full package. Kind of mediocre gameplay, but tied with such wonderful characters, in such a wonderful story, with such great pacing, and amazing music and visuals. You can feel the passion radiating, radiating off this game from the music, the story, and just the utter landscapes. Wonderful, beautiful artwork that they provide. It's just amazing. And I, I am so happy I decided to play this game again. Sure, we ran into a few issues with the ROM hack kind of hanging in certain dungeons from time to time when we went up d the floors, but didn't really happen all that much except for Mount Bristle. Mm. But I'll definitely need to make an account and <laughs> tell the, mod, the ROM hack maker, hey, I ran into that a lot on various different dungeons, which is weird. But yeah. I, again, I do wish that some things had a bit more, like, time to breathe and character. Like, I would have enjoyed it if Manaphy was with us longer. And again, I would have liked it if Manaphy's return capped off the ending of the post-game and it was treated as, like, this is a finale to the epilogue. You can still continue. Because that's kind of what Silas's narration was after we beat Darkrai, but I kind of wish that, like, Manaphy returned then, maybe. It's just like, I heard something terrible happen, and I just had to come back to you. I think that would have been nice. And again, maybe cap it off with Silas beginning to tell Manaphy their entire story of their journey as it cuts to credits. And again, would have loved if there were more social moments, more slice of life moments. And uh, again, the guild and town reacting to things like Neon's disappearance and stuff. But that, I think, is a, getting into a little bit of nitpicking. A little bit of nitpicking. A bit more content of the story variety here or there would have done wonders. But the game was already full of wonders. So missing one or two isn't that bad. But I do believe that that will be it for now. I do not know what we will stream 
Wednesday. Heck, I might even take Wednesday off to try and recuperate. Maybe make some thumbnails as I think about what to play next. But, yeah, if I don't uh, start streaming around 5 on Wednesday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, just know that's me taking the day off because this is amazing. I do kind of wish that there was a bit more forewarning of, like, how much post-game there was, but that's why I looked up a guide, because I was worried. And, but yeah, but the, what post-game it was. I liked it. Still kind of weird that they need you to, like, do three jobs, little thing. Oh, Manaphy returns. Again, wish there was a bit more of Manaphy there. Do three jobs. Hey, there's a marine resort, which is just kind of, eh. <laughs> Oh, and the meme, the Dark Red Cresselia meme. I'll definitely need to remember that into the idea folder I need to do. I need to sketch it. God, this means drawing Cresselia. <laughs> but, yeah. Thank you very much for joining me on this fantastic journey of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Once again, thank you to the creators of the Expanded Sky ROM hack. The link to it can be found in the link in the bio, or not bio, the, 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 the description of the YouTube stream and all the YouTube videos of this series. Thank you to them for allowing me to play as a Zoroa instead of an Eevee this time. Throw in a bit of spice of life there. But... I do believe that will be it for now. Again, don't know what we'll be doing next time. Probably going to take Wednesday off if I can't think of anything. Don't want to force myself. Uh, you're welcome, Neon, even if my sleep schedule has been <laughs> a downward spiral, and I am sorry for that. This game just grabbed me by the heart, and I've been pulled along. And... Yes, again, thank you for joining me on this journey. Thank you to the people whose effort went into the expanded Sky ROM hack. Thank you to the composers, the artists, the programmers, the writers of the original game. Because this has been fantastic. If you want more from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, can, uh, and the direct link to that can be found just about anywhere links can be placed. Uh, that has everything that I do. Edited content YouTube videos, streams on Twitch and YouTube, all the streams of the streams past on YouTube, art that I draw, stories that I write, and a little donation jar of my Patreon if you feel are feeling so kind. But are in a good place. <laughs> if you are only if you're in a good place and feeling kind, you do that. Don't don't hurt yourself throwing the dollar you do my way. But yes, thank you again for joining me on this fantastic journey. I don't know what it is that we'll be doing next. Maybe Pokemon Platinum. Maybe Pokemon Gates, Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. Maybe something else, small and short. But I just know whatever it is, we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. Thank you again. Remember to be you be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind. Stay hydrated, everybody. <laughs> thank you, Neon, for making me have a shared experience with this game. And thank you for sharing your experience of this game with me, too. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>